free information now. 407-337-4040. Call 407-337-4040. Install Brick Paver is a family-owned and operated company with over 20 years' experience and fantastic Google reviews. We are Orlando's finest family-owned paving experts. Fire pits, pool decks, paver driveways, patios, and hardscaping. Install Brick Paver does it all. Call for your free estimate now. Get in early before our spring schedule gets booked. Call 407-337-4040. That's 407-337-4040. Hey, Orlando, are you looking for new ways to save? Well, on Verizon, you don't need to be on a family plan to get our best deals. Switch to Verizon, and for a limited time, plans start at just $50 per month for a single line with auto pay plus taxes and fees when you bring your own phone with unlimited welcome. That's a savings of $15 per month. And when you switch now, you can save on the things you love to stream, like Netflix and Max. There's never been a better time to switch to the network America relies on. A better plan to save is Verizon. This offer won't last long. Visit your local Verizon store to switch and save big today. $180 BYOD promo credit per phone applied over 36 months for new customers with one new line with your own 4G or 5G smartphone on unlimited welcome plan required. $360 local promo credit applied over 36 months for new customers with one new line. Additional terms apply. In select markets only, auto pay and paper-free billing required. For unlimited welcome plan in times of congestion, unlimited 5G and 4G LTE may be temporarily slower than other traffic. Domestic data roaming at 2G speeds. It's spring. Time to gather your friends and family and fire up the grill with some Kingsford charcoal because everything tastes better cooked on the grill. Whether it's a casual get-together or a special occasion, Kingsford Original will give your food that authentic wood-fired barbecue flavor everyone craves. Ooh, wow. it's so good. Because it's not spring until you've thrown some burgers on the grill with Kingsford Original Charcoal, America's grilling expert. Kingsford.com. Tax time means a cash bonus for many people. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. I need to reduce my tax burden, so I'm going to overpay for your old car. Get up to $4,297 more than it's actually worth. Trade in and get a new car today, like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. Most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. I'm R.C. Hill at R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, Deland and Nocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. Credit required. Bank approval, CRCHill.com for details. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking. To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com. If you ever need our help, we're just a call away. There's only one Morgan & Morgan. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman & Lind Studios. Why Kaufman & Lind? Because your case matters. Contact them at WhenYouNeedUs.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS-FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Someone's going to get offended. It's just the way the world works. So to hopefully save everyone a little time and or energy, here's this. The opinions that you hear are those of the host and callers and not those of iHeartMedia, its management, or advertisers. The news junkie is on. The three best friends you never knew you had. Running through the most viral stories of the day. The news junkie, Sean Wasson, with Sabrina and c It is Wednesday, March 27th at 2024. Lots to get to today from Baltimore Breach Collapse Updates to somebody who won a $1.1 billion lottery drawing. It is Puff Daddy actually going to prison. Plus your calls, dispatches, emails, texts, and more. Hey there, Sabrina. Hello. Hello, c -Lane. What's going on? And hello to you. You can join us on the show today. Just send us a dispatch. Go to the newsjunkie.com to hit record on your first dispatch today. You can also watch the show on YouTube and twitch.tv slash the news junkie. Your message is rolling right into the studio in real time. How's everybody doing on a Wednesday? Oh, it's good. Yeah. yeah. Day by yeah. day, but uh, Feels feeling good. good, ready to party. 
Yeah, we got Fritz on the street coming up later on today. Just a couple of hours here, and we'll see how violent things get for that today. Violent? I am, uh, yeah, violent? yeah. I, I'm ready to mount my full-on Fritz on the street comeback. I've decided today. All right. Oh, okay, yeah. good, mm-hmm. good. Today's I'm the day. For you. Gonna focus, gonna get in the zone. I'm doing a little time. How did that go last week? Hold on, wait. It Don't say fine. last week. Let's go back to the Tai Chi. Are I don't you know really exactly doing what, Tai Chi? No, I, I don't know what it is necessarily, but it seems okay. like a thing that, like, does it get you in the zone? Because that's what I'm going for. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, yeah. Like, a, like the Buddha, you know, whatever those kind of things are. Yeah, that's I'll the be stuff doing some do. uh, push ups right before the game starts. Absolutely. I could crush a push-up right now. I've been lifting, 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 man. Just, I'm getting solid over Those here. Those little 10 Oh, 15, buddy. Whoa. You know, it's getting big over here. Feeling good about it. All right. What was that noise? What was that reaction? Oh, he doesn't believe you, Sean. Well, he saw. I just made the muscle go, for him. Go he saw grab how, the weights you know, right now and that, do a couple reps I, I, as I, you talk. I only sort of saw. It's a little blurry in here these days. Yeah. And uh-huh. internet is a bitch. Blurs cannot get rid of the guns I have building over here, okay. all right? It's just impossible. All right, let's put our ears to the ground, yeah. our fingers on the pulse. He said that last week, Sabrina, when you weren't here. <laughs> oh, really? And uh, and uh, the outcome was Josh set a Fritz on the street record. Or- <laughs> he did. <laughs> I I think I might have said a reverse Fritz on the street record for the fewest points scored. Because what I have, like three for the whole entirety? For for most of the game, you had three. (laughs) It was a little bit rough. But, uh, well, people are already trying to get our attention for Fritz on the street. Keep going with that. Somebody will be successful. And guess what? A couple of things we got to lay down here. Number one. This is the last Fritz mag, the last blue one that, that Fritz designed himself. Oh, snap. So whoever wins that today will get the very final one of those. You can learn more about Game of Magnets over at thenewsjunkie.com. But that means that we're going to have to have Fritz. Hopefully, it'll, it'll take some time and design a new one. Because I feel like the Fritz on the street magnet should come from him, right? Like from his brain. Absolutely. And so th- th- this one's all out, you know, we're now going to be on the third one of these. So that is on the way before too long. Let's put our ears to the ground, our fingers on the poles. Let's see what's happening in this great big wide world of ours. And we go to the view yeah. all right. Yeah. All places. That's right. Hoopy. Is Hoopy still there? She's there. Uh, yeah. And the subject yeah. of this uh, particular uh-huh. pulse on the ground or whatever. Well, uh, this is Whoopi Goldberg. She got angry uh, during the view, during the hot topic segment. Honestly, let's see. Let's just go around here real quick. Whoopi Goldberg is on The View. Uh-huh. Uh huh. The woman that it's showing right now, I think I know her, Sunny Hostin or something like that. Sunny came um, home. Yeah, got it. Joy Behar. Know her. Anybody know anybody else on The View right now? Oh, didn't. Um, the cane left. She's gone. Yeah. yeah. She's that's, out of there. The they have like a rotating thing going, and there there is a fourth permanent person. I think there's at least four of them that are permanent. I'm Couldn't even looking you. at them now. I don't know the other two. I don't know who these two ladies are. They're just like randos who have popped down in here. Oh, good. And that's the I view want their now. view. Rando view. All right. The Hot Topics views. And Whoopi gets angry because somebody in the audience dared to pull out their camera what? and start filming them on the view. Sir. What's I have to I have to stop you with the camera as oh. I can see you. Oh, she so got do me out a of favor. Yeah. Don't pull yeah, it out again. Will. I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, what so okay. I, as I was saying, you know, I think what was the clapping for? Because you don't know oh, what to do in those yeah, moments. That's, yeah, that's what it is. Socially, you have no idea how to respond, and you're like. Oh, oh uh, Whoopi got out of her seat. Could it, could it be that a, a producer somewhere decided that they didn't want this to end? They needed to transition out of the awkward silence mm-hmm. that was about to happen as she sat back down. Very awkward and clap, I got to tell you. Then just, like, kicked on the applause sign? Because there's applause <laughs> signs. There are, yeah, it's true. For a show like The View, they got, like, a little light-up light applause thing. And then I was like... What's this move that she's doing? Like, there's Sir. cameras Sir. everywhere. There's You're other, literally other people's jobs to do that. Yeah, you, you broadcast. Well, I mean, I don't know why that person necessarily would want the footage so much. I get that. It's like a person videotaping at a concert, right? Like, you, you really care about this footage that much? Go look at the footage that they recorded for the view. But why would she like stop the middle of the show? Could you imagine us and we're we're streaming? 
and we're doing a live show, which we'll do one this year. We'll do a big uh, banger of a live show. And when we're doing one, we got all these cameras on us, and then we stop the show, and we're like, sir, sir, I'm going to have to ask you to stop filming with your camera in the middle of our broadcast here. Yeah, these are our views, buddy. I think we would just ignore it, right? Like, I'd just say, just maybe maybe the guy was being really obnoxious. Maybe he was, like, standing up or something. But she was like, no, sir, sir. sir. What's I, have to, I have to stop you with the camera because oh. I can see you. So do me a favor. Don't pull it out again. I'd appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Now clap. Please clap, uh, everybody. What was he I doing? Mean, shouldn't that be up to a producer or some sort of audience wrangler to, yeah. to do that? I mean, it just seems so weird that Whoopi takes it upon herself. Yeah, this is, somebody else could take care of that job and then do the please, please clap. clap. Please, please clap. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate you. Don't pull out your cell phone in the audience at The View. Or don't go to The View entirely because it seems like uh, a I miserable, miserable I affair. I would never do that. Unless they had, like, I would go on a day that had an explosive guest. Like, if the view locks in Donald Trump, I'm, uh, I'm here for it. I'm like, yeah. Let me see and, Trump clash with these broads. First of all, the Secret Service would make sure you didn't have your phone out. But if mm -hmm. you could, that's the one to have your phone out. Because if they decide later on that there's something they want to cut out of this interview on either side, Mm -hmm. if, if there's something the Trump camp asks to have removed or something the view, you know, sometimes they, they go, oh, he, he sounded a little bit too on our side. Mm -hmm. let's, let's cut that comment out so he's an evil, angry man. Then you got the raw footage yourself. Millen Surfer on Twitch says, I'm going to film the whole next live show. I will stop you in the middle of the broadcast. Sir, sir. No, sir. Excuse me, sir. I'll, I'll let you do it because the more you film, the more you're not uh, bothering me. Oh, wow. Uh, this what is happened a, to the man of the people? Wednesday. <laughs> Holy cow. Sealand used to be the man of the people. Come on over. Hang out with me. Take a photograph. Drink not during shot. the show. Uh, yes, during the show. Because not that's what during, people like. Not yes. during the show. No climbing yes. under the desk. None of that. No, that, that's exactly what people like to do. Every live show we've ever done, we're like, yeah, we're back. You know, hey, we're setting up something, talking about whatever the next topic is. And people come over and go, hey, guys, what's going on? Okay. <laughs> it's like, we, are, okay. we have headphones on. We are live uh -huh. on the air. No, thank you. What other indicators do you need that we're doing a show here? We're live right now, okay? And we are, folks. You know, we're live. We're live right now. I think Lube wanted to hire security the one time he got stuck with us. <laughs> he was close to needing it, I think. <laughs> uh, all right, over to the bridge. We've been talking about this, and I want to test the audience today. I want to test you, okay? And this doesn't require you to sign up for anything or do anything other than just take your phone right now and go to one link and put in a vote. All right, that's it. I just want to test the audience, and I want to see where you're at, all right? Because there, I, I guess, are a lot of people who can't just be normal anymore. Mm, yeah, it makes and sense. And the poll I put up today at thenewsjunkie.com slash poll is, was the Baltimore Bridge collapse an accident? And you only have two choices. Oh, my gosh. So you're going to start have, up some controversy. You're there you, stirring it up, Sean. That's not stirring it up. That's yes, asking the asks. most simple question I could ever ask. It has yes. been determined it was an accident, has it well, not? I, I said, was it an accident? Yes, it was an accident. Or no, it was done on purpose. Those are the only two options in this poll. Now, and I see where you, you think I'm going. I'm not going in the, this direction, right? Where I'm going is, isn't it weird that accidents can't just happen anymore? Oh, yeah. Like, oh, literally, sure. nothing can just be an accident. Nothing can be that there was a, a, a container ship and these fools lost control of it. They were going too fast, apparently, or going quite fast at one point. There's audio then, evidence of them calling Mayday and the cops trying their best to close the bridge down. Yeah, but if you were taking down a bridge, wouldn't you call Mayday, Sabrina? No, oh, yeah, I guess so. I well, hey, hey, not to mention that the people who were piloting this shipping container, uh, or this container ship, I should say, which is about a... Um, what is it? Uh, is 100,000 tons crazy? I think it was around 100,000 tons, right? It's a big, big ship, right? It's a local crew. So when you get in this area, I guess often they'll drop a local crew on your ship, and they know all the spots to avoid so you don't get stuck and I get was in trouble. Hearing, I was hearing people talk about that. I was hearing Jimmy talk about that yesterday because they mm -hmm. had. He, he said that they have local crews for that, or any time a cruise ship goes into, like, the Mississippi 
they have to get special people on board to uh, know what they're doing, right? Who yes, who know mm. ex- who are certified to to navigate this particular area, all that. Do they how do they get on board? Do they have to dock somewhere so that the 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 bridge I don't people know. get on or that's do, a good maybe maybe they just bring it over in a boat and just kind of like you know get a ladder on. yeah mm-hmm. yeah they pop on there like one of those pirates do over off the coast of Africa or like that scene from Speed with the two buses going together yeah and you just you put like a little plank between the Woo. two and you hop over on the on the ship but they, their local crew was in charge and this ship is moving around it loses power it starts heading for the bridge uh, the power comes back on. It loses power once more, and it plows into the bridge and knocks the whole damn bridge down, right? And a couple of things come to mind. One thing is, you go, well, could they have done more? I guess they dropped the anchor, like as an emergency measure. They dropped the anchor on this ship in uh, Baltimore, and that didn't seem to do much. Or maybe the anchor just dragged them directly towards the, the damn support barrier, which they hit the worst spot they possibly could have hit. They just plowed into the support beam in the perfect area to drop the whole stack of Jenga. And it's so and, wild to think that there could have been way more casualties. Oh, yeah. Had, it, had they not had the, at least one side, like, I don't know if it was northbound or southbound, but one side had stopped traffic maybe 10 minutes, five minutes no, before no. it all crashed in. Oh, I don't even think they had that long. I, I don't know that they had that long to do this because... From the time the scanner audio begins and there's something going on to the time that it actually hits the bridge and the bridge is in the harbor is like four minutes. I'll play some of the scanner audio here in a second so we can hear what was going on. Um, but uh, they, it, Sabrina, you've seen the footage, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. You can see it's nighttime, right? Mm-hmm. You can see the headlights of the cars. You can see a headlight of one car that goes across and makes it to the end and- right before the bridge just falls out from under it. Imagine that rear view mirror shot Mm -hmm. where you just look to see, hey, I heard something, and the entire bridge behind you with cars crumbles. I think you would feel more than you saw. I mean, behind you, uh, I I, I can't imagine because it was so dark. Yeah, that would be so freaky. But I want to get... The vibe here. I want to get the the, the temperature of you folks today. Uh, so I've, go I've, over. Had, I've seen one. My one. My one follow that usually is right on board with the. Mm-hmm. You know the uh, uh, jet fuel doesn't uh, melt steel beams and and anti vax and all kinds of stuff. Super. They said the person. same thing. Super- who, who, did they have a theory as to who was responsible? Well, no, they, open borders, baby. Come on. This person, this, <laughs> How does that make any sense? Open whatsoever? borders, this, obviously. I'll tell you what. One moment they open the border, the next minute a shipping container or a container ship hits a bridge in Baltimore. This person doesn't typically post their own theories. They usually just repost other people's stuff and might add a wake up, you know? <laughs> wake and, up, and, people. And uh, one of the things that was reposted um uh well, was uh, well that, that was totally there was a different photoshop thing on CNN that was puffy related but one of the things that was reposted was a guy that was like slow the video down here you could see all the places where dynamite like exploded <laughs> at the moment of impact to take this bridge down you're like come on man really all right i want to see where everybody's at be honest okay this is an anonymous poll be honest about it go to the newsjunkie.com slash poll was the baltimore bridge collapse an accident yes it was an accident or no it was done on purpose just just taking the temperature here we'll get into the audio from the uh the scanner as all this went down and some other pretty wild details that nobody seems to be talking about yet Uh, We got some crazy information about an animal to be on the lookout for out there in the United States of America and a whole bunch more. And that's all coming up next on the News Junkie. You know, you can always text us unless you're driving at 77031. Standard data and message rates apply. Real mobile is powered by Orange Buick GMC and orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. From the Klausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Klausman Law. Clausmanlaw.com. 
All lanes are blocked due to an accident on Orange Blossom Trail southbound at Maitland Boulevard, and the off-ramp from Maitland Boulevard to Orange Blossom Trail is blocked as well. Authorities are working on an accident on Forest City Road westbound at McCulloch Road. The right lane is blocked, and you can expect your regular delays on I-4 eastbound before US-27 and approaching Sand Lake Road. If you see traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Otesla Adrenalast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Tax time means a cash bonus for many people. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. I need to reduce my tax burden, so I'm going to overpay for your old car. Get up to $4,297 more than it's actually worth. Trade in and get a new car today like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. Most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. I'm R.C. Hill at R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, Deland and Nocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. Credit required. Bank approval, CRCHill.com for details. Hey, baseball fans, did you know that Fubo has the most MLB games you can get without cable? That's right. Only Fubo has the broadcast networks and regional networks you need to watch your home team all year long. Out of market? Don't worry. Fubo has MLB TV, too. Watch on all your devices at home and on the go. Baseball season is finally here. Get Fubo today. Start streaming FuboTV.com. That's F-U-B-O-T-V.com. Are you a business owner, CEO, or responsible for marketing? If you are, iHeartMedia can help you reach your goals and find new customers. We reach more consumers in your target area than anyone else, and we can give you access to those potential customers more cost-effectively across radio, digital, podcasting, and social. We'd love to show you how iHeartMedia can work for you. Get started today at iHeartAdvertising.com. That's iHeartAdvertising.com. Are you a victim of the timeshare trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original timeshare cancellation expert. And I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free, explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call Wesley now for your free info kit. 800-522-5700. 800-522-5700. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Join a one-night spring edition of Harry's Sip and Saver, April 6th, 6.30 at Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill, 9840 International Drive, featuring mixology and culinary arts. Harry'sPoolside.com slash Harry's Sip and Saver. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. 
Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Door Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. A1 is also your one call for garage floors and garage storage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. If your garage door is noisy, if bugs are getting in, or if it struggles to open, your garage door is in need of a repair. Call today and take advantage of our $29.95 tune-up special. A1 from day Embark on a journey through the most absurd moments of the human story with Ridiculous History, the podcast that explores the bizarre corners of human existence, like the evolution of the toilet, the story of Comic Sans, or the exploits of the notorious Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr is like, one day, my life is going to be part of a musical. However, though, he probably didn't necessarily at this point think that he was going to be the villain. Listen to Ridiculous History on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. It's spring. Time to gather your friends and family and fire up the grill with some Kingsford charcoal. Because everything tastes better cooked on the grill. Whether it's a casual get-together or a special occasion, Kingsford Original will give your food that authentic, wood-fired barbecue flavor everyone craves. Ooh, wow, this is so good. Because it's not spring until you've thrown some burgers on the grill. With Kingsford Original Charcoal, America's grilling expert. Kingsford.com. It's draft season. The 2024 NFL Draft is right around the corner, and the Move to Six podcast has you covered for all your draft needs. The show is hosted by me, Daniel Jeremiah, and my partner, Bucky Brooks. When it comes to Detroit and the draft, Move the Sticks is the podcast that will answer all your questions. Which quarterbacks are going in the first round? Don't worry. Tune in and you'll be ready to watch the draft like a scout. Subscribe now and listen to the Move the Sticks podcast on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Score 0% APR financing on popular models like Rogue. Now at Sutherland Nissan Orlando. See you for details. Radio, 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 radio. They're best friends, unless they're fighting. Are they fighting? It's And that sucker is just gone. Biden says the U.S. government, the federal government, is going to pay for it, which seems kind of weird. Like, can we get this from somebody else? How about the ship people? Can they pony up some funds for plowing into a, a, sh- a bridge in Baltimore? You'd think that they could at least, like, leave the tip or something. Yeah, a little bit of cash, maybe. That might be nice. But one thing is, as we said, it was a local crew. It wasn't like the actual ship's crew, this 100-ton ship that was piloting it when it crashed directly into the support structure of this Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. Um, One answer on that comes from email to tips at thenewsjunkie.com. Gloria says, here's how the local crew gets on the ship. You asked this, C. All right, I'm ready. She says, pilots get on the ship before it leaves the dock. The pilots operate the ship until it's out of the port area. The pilot boat follows the ship, and when the ship is safely out of port, the ship stops and the pilot boat operator gets gets off the ship onto the pilot boat and goes back to port. All ports in the United States of America are operated this way. Love the show, says Gloria. Man, that sounds like a whole to-do, doesn't it, for like every single ship that goes in and out of there? It's a weird, yeah. weird system, but I feel like for the most part, they've gotten their uh, hold on it up until mm-hmm. this weekend. Only takes one bridge falling. It only takes one. The other thing, number two, is that the crew that was on this ship that plowed into this bridge in Baltimore, they're still on the ship. And I guess they have to stay on there for two weeks or so, which I don't know. It's kind of crazy to think about. It's just like, hey, you guys just you plowed into this ship. Why don't you hang tight? Because we got to do the investigation now. And we don't want anybody to go anywhere. Uh, and, uh, you should uh, start up a new Twitter account where you're stuck on the, the dolly 
<laughs> I, I don't, don't know what is thumbs downing on my screen uh, that's here. So it's just no, it's thumbs downing you in general. That's what <laughs> I, the effect, like the shape of my uh, my my face or something. I don't know. But it weird. worked out perfectly with timing. I was like, that's weird. And I see over C Lane's face, a thumbs down. Uh, uh, AI, it's coming after our jobs, dude. So time to to start your your fake uh, Twitter account that says you've been mm. stuck on this ship and uh, you've just been having all the sex. Yeah, happy to do so. I'll get back in the New York Post on this one. Yeah. Here's Dolly, the uh, container ship that crashed into the bridge, and you can see here it's, like, stuck underneath it still. Dolly, the ship that crashed into the bridge and took it down, had another accident about a little less than 10 years ago where it crashed into the moorings of another port. Not exactly fantastic. That's got a bunch of people online saying, well, it's about diversity. The crew on the ship, they picked the, the, the people for diversity reasons instead of the most talented, so they crashed into it. There you see the anchors down, the anchors yeah. down into the water because they dropped the anchor as a last-minute measure. I, I'll be damned. I think that anchor could have turned that ship and steered it, unfortunately, accidentally. Because no, I think they have anchors on either side of the ship. You should Do see that? another one on the other side. I right, to see one on that side. God only knows what happened, though, because this thing um, you know, obviously it's, hit pretty it's, hard. It's kind of hard to see under all the mangled bridge. Yeah, there's a lot of bridge on the ship at this moment right here. But the big question I tossed out was... Do you think I wanna... if the captains, like, meet me on the bridge, they're like, which one? Yeah, so right now, we have an actual bridge and the one we used to talk about. But I wanted to see what was going on with you. Because I, online, it's chaos, man. On social media, nothing normal can happen anymore. Why? Well, it's easy. Everybody is anti-establishment right? There's like so many anti-establishment people. If you're off far to the left, you're very likely anti-establishment. You probably don't like the Biden administration. You probably don't might like the Democratic Party. They're anti-establishment and they don't believe in the organizations or anybody giving out information. And if you're on the far right, you probably believe the same damn things. Horseshoe theory connecting us once again with you don't believe in any of the organizational apparatus of not just America, but probably the world. Everybody is lying to us, right? We're all anti-establishment these days. So when they tell you, hey, we've ruled out that this is terrorism. We don't think that there's any kind of terrorism going on here. Well, that's what they would say, wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. That's what they would say. So you start with all of these folks who, who nothing can just be an accident anymore. There's a lot of people who are sunk deep into this. So the poll at the newsjunkie.com slash poll is, was the Baltimore bridge collapse an accident? And as of right now, it's 88% saying, yes, it was an accident, but there's 12% of the audience at least is willing to admit as a no, this was done on purpose. We think this was done on purpose. Now let me bring this full circle here. As I refresh the poll at the newsjunkie.com slash poll and just get a, a test on things. We're still at 88 to 11-ish, right? And if you believe that, I want you to reconcile that belief. I want people to start doing that. If you believe these things, I want you to be forced to reconcile with what you're believing. What you're believing is this, that a local crew got on to a Singaporean ship and decided that they were going to, for any number of reasons, purposely crash into the structure of a bridge and kill six Americans, possibly kill even more, and do it for some ends. Now, you have to answer the whys. Why would those people do that? These people are Baltimoreans, right? You know, these folks live in Maryland. Marylanders, or whatever they call themselves. Maryland lovers. Maltese. They're, they're, they're Americans, unless that you think they're on the take. So, like, what are they doing? What's their motivation? Why would they do this? Why this one ship? Why in the middle of the night instead of during rush hour traffic? It's a lot of things. How many people are in on this? How many people are were aware of this conspiracy that you are starting to lay out if you're in that no, it was done on purpose territory? And don't do the I'm just asking questions thing. We have to get away from that. We have to say, use your brain. It's an apparatus your mother and your father gave you. It's a blessing. No matter how low functioning it may be, it is a blessing. And you should utilize it to work through the logic you're setting up. And the fence you have in front of you is that you believe that this was not just an accident. Okay, that's true. Some things are an accident. Some things are legitimate conspiracy. Cointel Pro, all kinds of various things. The Tuskegee experiments. There were many things that people said were conspiracies. The lab leak theory out of Wuhan. People said you were crazy, right? They said you were crazy. But it turns out 
Some of these things are actually true. There's actually some uh, truth to them. But this one, if you want to circle that square, then you have to answer those questions. Why? Why were the local crew willing to crash into a bridge? Why did they do it at night? How many people are in on this? What were the aims? Who was behind this? And because there's literally no answers to those questions, why did you arrive at the destination? Other Follow than- the money, Sean. What? Follow the money to where? Where are we following the money to? To yeah, the bank. Just keep a close well, eye on it. And why are now we're at the bank? What do we do at the bank? Who's responsible there? The, the, the bankers. Maybe Say the Jews, all- I dare you. Say the oh, Jews. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I know where you were going. Maybe offshore, considering that all this happened on the on the sea. Uh, it did. It happened in a waterway, though it was in U.S. territory. Dude, Salt water. You Salt know water. what these maritime pilots make that they you know that they dr- sometimes drop on the ships. They say they say the pilot boat does it, but also there are places where they do it by helicopter. Whoa, and they just drop that's you cool. off on the boat to uh, to navigate the the waterways. People make, according to a 2008 review of pilot salaries in the United States, shows the pay ranges anywhere from 250 to 500 grand a year. Well, that ain't bad. Hard to blackmail that person, right? Hard to get that person in on some kind of conspiracy. Yeah, but I would also like to be paid 500 grand if I'm trying to helicopter onto a moving boat. That's a weird job. No, it, thank you. I mean, I don't. I'm just not a helicopter kind of kind of. That dude. sounds like a fun job. <laughs> yeah, for you it is. Of course, that sounds like the the perfect job for like that friend you had in high school who you were just absolutely sure their final words would be, "Watch this, <laughs> check this out." Somebody says it's a distraction from Diddy. Okay, there you go. Uh, somebody else <laughs> saying there's a lot of different theories on here, but somebody saying, "Have you considered space lasers?" Some people have. But I'm really, I'm throwing that at you. Answer my question. If you're one of the people who answered our poll at thenewsjunkie.com slash poll, and you were in that, uh, now it's a 12.7% and rising a little bit, that are saying that this was done on purpose, where are you coming at? Where, where are you coming from, I guess I should say. And if you're really brave about it, I would love to get you on the phone live because I want to pick apart that brain. I want to have at you a little bit, and I want to see if you can actually land on something solid. All right, let's go over to the actual audio when this was going down, the scanner audio of the Baltimore Bridge incident. Here we are. Rock 5, Battalion 6. Uh, I would be a bad idea. I'd make a recommendation to the Coast Guard. They're right around the corner so they can see if the system goes. Right. They're talking about the Coast Guard. Or MTA safe police route. We are still trying to contact, and we will contact. They're trying to scramble everybody. Reach out to state police. You got contact. See if we can get a notice received. One fifty one. Command the communications update. We do have several, several police officers on eastbound State ninety five. That is that are stopping traffic. Okay, that's good right there. They are stopping traffic. Right. This is what Sabrina talked about. We had a little tiny bit of a heads up because the ship says Mayday, Mayday. I'm spiraling over here. And so there was cops that set up at the end of the bridge and they started stopping traffic. Why is that good? Well, because if that traffic kept going, when that bridge went down, those folks are toast. You don't fall that far. This ain't a bridge 10 feet over the water, right? This is a bridge way up in the air, way up in the air. And so when the bridge falls, your car, your vehicle tumbles maybe four stories down and then plunks into the water. Into freezing cold water. Yes, also. very, very cold waters. And the force and the water and everything else. I mean, we'll talk a little bit later about what are you supposed to do if you did survive that and hit the water and now you're stuck in the vehicle where the water's rising. But let's go back to this. The more vehicles try to enter, we're going to try to get as close to the bridge as possible to get a better look. But I don't want to commit to the bridge if it's unstable. Communications and all units responding, hold the air. Star 5, Battalion 6, and communications on the Fort Armistead. Slurry, huh? Yeah, it's just a lot of traffic. Bridge, the entire key bridge in the harbor. The entire key bridge. Hold all traffic from coming to the bridge. The entire key bridge has fallen into the harbor. Wow. Craziness. Seriously. You know what's crazy? That guy was... Seemingly calm for somebody who just witnessed a bridge collapse. Yeah, you think it's a little too chill? Maybe he's in on it. Yeah, right? that's what they're gonna say. Guys, There's, come on, they're trying to say he was in on all this stuff. But he, to me, was just he was working through what he had going on. You got to yeah. remain calm. 
Uh, we want to hear what you think, though. Go to the newsjunkie.com slash poll. If you're um, not brave enough to send it a dispatch at the newsjunkie.com, you can always email me at tips at the newsjunkie.com. Either way, want to get into your head and see what's going on in there. It's an interesting place for me. Uh, what do we have coming up next? Well, we have you, of course. We've got more of you. I got some more details that haven't been talked about much on this. And an animal that you need to be on the lookout for. It is invading everywhere, and it could do you some damage. So what do you need to be aware of? Well, that important info coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is Real Music Weekends. This weekend on Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Hey there, Central Florida. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast. And for today, we do expect the potential of some scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout this afternoon. Some of these could be on the strong side with heavy rain and gusty winds. But overall, the majority of these will be staying to the north and west of the Orlando metro. Temperatures will still be on the warmer side, climbing into the mid-80s for highs. A cold front helps to spark more showers and storms by tomorrow. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by J. David Tax Law. If you owe the IRS and can't pay, now is the time to call J. David Tax Law. After a two-year hiatus, the IRS has resumed their aggressive collections letters. Don't wait. Call J. David Tax Law or visit jdavidtaxlaw.com. Folks, let me tell you about an amazing company, a company that you can absolutely trust, a company called Mills Air. And Mills Air has been around for a long time, since 1992. It's over 30 years that they've been helping people like you out by being honest when it comes to your air conditioner. Why isn't it working? Is it a simple fix? A couple bucks here or there. They're happy to do that to keep you on as a client for the next time something goes wrong. And if you want to get ahead of that next time something goes wrong, you can even sign up for preventative maintenance, which can save you money and detect an upcoming breakdown. How valuable is that peace of mind that's just one phone call away? 407 277 1159. If you're sending me right now, Sean, I have an air conditioning. I'm getting ready for the hotter temperatures in the spring and the summer. I don't know if it's working the way it should or if it's costing me too much on my power bill because the numbers have been out of control. Now's the time to do it. Preventative maintenance, 407 277 1159. They can always get your rebates, even up to $1,270, $500 in bills there for a brand new carrier unit. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier, and you can always turn to Mills Air. Find them online, millsair.com. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. To thank you for 40 unforgettable years, Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's dell.com slash deals. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. 
people think Florida is salty because most of our state is surrounded by salt water. But it's the other states that are salty. Why? Because we get to enjoy McDonald's breakfast bagels year-round. You see, most parts of the country aren't as lucky as us and can't wake up to a steak, egg, and cheese bagel with a tender, juicy steak patty and savory grilled onions. Or a sausage, egg, and cheese bagel with a sizzling hot pork sausage patty. Or a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel with thick-cut applewood smoked bacon. Enjoy savory breakfast bagels only at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba at participating McDonald's. When you're eating McDonald's spicy chicken McNuggets, take a moment to appreciate that they're back. And while you may be eager to reach for another McNugget, take a moment to let the spice settle. Because the lightly breaded tempura and blend of aged cayenne aren't just spicy, they're worth it. You can order ahead on the McDonald's app. Ba -ba -ba -ba. But participate in McDonald's for a limited time. McD app download and registration required. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you right now. Like Lost 80s. <laughs> Just search Lost 80s and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. You can live out your MasterChef dream. When you find a professional on Angie to tackle your dream kitchen remodel. Connect with skilled professionals to get all your home projects done well. Inside to outside. Repairs to renovations. Get started on the Angie app or visit Angie.com today. You can do this when you Angie that. Direct auto insurance is for uncompromisers. With a super low down payment, you can stop compromising and keep driving. Get a free quote at directauto.com. Down payments vary does not mean savings. How you buy can affect price. National General Group, Winston-Salem. Now. We tend not to think about now. We dream about tomorrow, relive yesterday. But right now in front of us is victory over cancer. Right now, cancer research funded by the V Foundation is leading to better treatments and saving lives. Victory over cancer is there for the taking by you because today's cancer research is tomorrow's victory. Learn more at V.org. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? Just call Mo.com. Real Radio is on Facebook at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Real. On the bright side, we're not dead yet. You're listening. I don't know what to make of it. As somebody on, on Facebook, Jay, says to Facebook.com slash the news junkie, come on, guys, do better. Unless you have any evidence stroking the egos of the Alex Jones, Sandy Hook thing, wing of your listeners, isn't a good look when they haven't even recovered the bodies yet, IMO. What a weird take. Like, I don't know if this person didn't listen to but a blink of what I was saying before in the previous segment. My entire point is that people should be challenged on these things. You can't just let it uh, just just uh, like a wildfire proliferate out there. That's what's happened for the past decade. Challenge people, make them answer the questions and don't let them be just the question askers, askers, excuse me. That's the thing that, that I was bringing up. I was like, Everybody, I'm just asking questions. Okay. Let's sit down for five seconds here and let's follow what you're saying and tell me if it makes any sense to you whatsoever. Challenge them on that. Make people wonder when they have ideas and things that they're saying if what they're saying is correct because people feel stupid when they're not correct. People don't want to feel stupid naturally. Or they don't feel stupid and just triple and quadruple down on it. I think at the end of the day when people get caught being stupid, I think the average human being feels really bad about that. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I think people do not want to be wrong, which is why they'll obfuscate, which is why they'll only seek out things that reinforce their opinions. But the idea that is like, whoa, whoa, don't even talk about this. That's dumb. First of all, it's interesting. It's interesting, right? People are, are into it right now. And the second thing is 
You got to go after these things. Now, we don't know exactly what happened just yet because the investigation hasn't even begun. But it's it's fun to see these things pop up and immediately nobody believes the word from the government or from whatever organizations investing is like, ah, those folks are lying. You know, they're really up to something out there. All right, we want to hear from you. We'll get to those dispatches momentarily. And uh, I want to tell you ahead of time, be aware there's an animal out there on the loose and it's uh, getting some folks. And this time it's a caterpillar, but it's not, it's not our friend, the puss caterpillar. Oh, I shockingly. they were making a comeback. No, I guess it's not them right now. They said springtime ushers in an influx of an infamous Florida pest, and that's for us in the Sunshine State. So you the pink and cal- caterpillar. Other states are, you know, you're fine on this. Well, maybe it goes a, a couple other uh, directions, but they said it's that time of year when the spiny white and yellow caterpillars drop out of the oak trees. Maybe these are still puss caterpillars, but they call them by some different names here. They may you may they may look cute and fuzzy, but a brush with a tussock mosk. Mm, let me say that again. Tussock moth caterpillar. See if that is that a puss caterpillar, a tussock moth caterpillar, or is, is that yet another kind? Yeah, oh, it's hairy and it's wild looking. T U S S O C K, moth caterpillar is the name of this thing. And I'll put this uh, up. Oh my God. On, if I'm looking at the right image, they seem to be um, everywhere. I've definitely yeah. seen this caterpillar. Yeah, you like you see them if it's on a car or like a gas pump. It or... looks like a puss for sure. I could see how yeah. those get confused. <laughs> I can see why they would call it that. Yeah, the, the moth itself looks like the the moths from um, was it Silence of the Lambs? The uh, moths, the files, yeah. Dr. Lecter, the files. It's pretty frightening looking. Honestly, is that the puss caterpillar though, or is this an entirely different caterpillar that we should be aware of? No, it's a different one. Wow, I had not seen this thing before. No, but it's a... I think that it would be really embarrassing that my death is brought on by a caterpillar. Yeah, you wouldn't want that. That's an embarrassing way things, to go down. It's a caterpillar that's the size of my pinky. And there's a lot of them. I mean, just it's like a love bug, right? Like a caterpillar version of a love bug. In a sense, like they're everywhere? Yeah, and they're in gaggles. And UF, uh, you know, created them and made it a... Hey, there's Whole another thing. conspiracy. I don't know. I can't tackle all of these at the same time. Put that on the list. We'll get to that one next. On the mo list for sure. But right now, the tussock moth caterpillar is to be uh, avoided at all costs. And when there's that many, it's like, what do I do? Like, imagine there's 500 of them on your car. Ugh. <laughs> what do you even do? Uh, I guess like, light my car on fire. <laughs> yeah, burn it real quick. <laughs> That's all I can think of. Anybody who wants to remove the caterpillars from their home should sweep them up and put them in a bucket of soapy water. Their cocoons can be removed using tweezers, but make sure to wear long sleeves so you avoid a sting. There's more and more of these hatching every year as the climate warms. Climate change to blame once more. And it leads to shorter winters, they say. The moths have a high tolerance for the warm temperatures, and there's just a whole bunch of them. Now, there's good things about this. The bats and the birds... Oh, boy, do they love them. It's like a smorgasbord for them. And they don't die from it? No, they're cool with it. They're, you know, they just, they mop them up with their mouths all over the city. Yeah, I always thought it was there. Just eating them up, gobbling them by the dozens and hundreds. And we need the birds. And we need the bees. Yeah. If they're real. All the rest of the things on the list, flowers, trees, et cetera. conspiracy today. No birds? None of them are real. Birds aren't real. Uh, The bees uh, are also not real. They're just little robots. And then uh, what was the one I just said? Uh, The the caterpillars. UF love bugs all day. Yeah, we're gonna need uh, robot bees if uh, if things go how they continue to go. Wow, what are we gonna do with them? Well, they they need to pollinate the the flowers. Yeah. Uh, Oh yeah, yeah. We can't do that without them. Isn't there anything else that does that job? Or bees? The only thing that lands just bees. Ah, The bees. Damn. What a what a miss in God's grand design. You know, we only made one thing that pollinates the flowers. It should be fifty, sixty flying animals that land on those things. But there's there were so many of them for so many years that God's like, they got it covered because they multiply by the millions. Yeah. And then we came with our big industry of toxins and killed them off. Uh, conspiracy theory, just to add to the mix. Yeah, let's do I it. I think it goes back way further 
And Noah got a little lazy when it came to adding one of each animal. And he was like, the bees will do it. The bees are annoying anyways. They'll pollinate the flowers. So you're calling the Bible a conspiracy theory. Uh, well, a lot of people do that. <laughs> How dare you? Also, that came up. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I, would I say that it's a conspiracy that there was a man named Noah who put one of each species yeah. on his ark and okay. survived the flood? Physically First of all, impossible. First of all, Sean. It's two of each animal. Oh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. They gotta have sex. That's right. Yeah. I, I apologize. Yeah. But they also have to uh, every single animal, two of each, so that they can procreate. Mm-hmm. And then think about you also have to have an entire, I imagine, separate cargo ship with all the supplies needed to maintain every single animal two Whoa. by two. Oh, how hard could it be to keep alive every animal on Earth for? A little while. Obviously not that hard because here we are. I'm trying to think of how long the flood went on for, but all I could do is sing Jars of Clay's song in my head to search for the answer. Rain, rain, rain. 40 days. (laughs) (laughs) It's in a song. (laughs) But if I can't be after 40 days. I knew the answer was right there. We found it together. Look at that. Um, Oh, There's something else to pay attention to out there. Great. Certainly there's lots of things to pay attention to. But this is an opportunity, I would say. It's an opportunity for for you. C Lane has made money off of this type of opportunity before. All right. Oh, let me guess. Mm-hmm. We got a new Trump baseball card. We we have a new Trump offering. Okay. We have a new Trump offering. It is not a baseball card. Last time C Lane made money off of Trump, he made tr- money off of Trump N- NFT. That's right. And they sold out. Then he flipped his and made that sweet Trump money. Technically, all profit for me because you paid for it. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was a gift for a prize that was won. Don't forget, Skywall Summer's coming back, so who knows what prizes are going to be dropping <laughs> out get here. The Trump so. neckties. Could be. Trump mouse pad. Maybe even this Trump offering. Here's the latest to hit the marketplace. Are you in? Let's see. With my very good friend, Lee Greenwood, <laughs> president of his song, God Bless the USA, in connection with promoting the God Bless the USA Bible. This Bible is the He's King James Version. A Bible. <laughs> it's not just any Bible. It's the God Bless the USA Bible. So oh my God. you know it's the good one. These are the moments where I give up. Lee Greenwood's in on this. Uh, my dad would have bought this if my dad was alive. <laughs> my Bibles dad loved Lee are free. There are <laughs> like Bibles are available in hey, so many places. If you're saying, I, I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know that they are anymore. Last time I was in a hotel, I checked. Not a Bible in sight. Are what? they still doing the Bible thing? The or Gideons? Well, but that's not a Bible that you take home like you would your, you know, slippers. Mm-hmm. Perhaps those cute little shampoos. I'm saying I haven't Go seen to them any in there church to begin with. And they will make it rain. They'll give you boxes of it. You think so? Yes. Uh, you can get, I know you can get digital versions for free, no doubt. Like, you don't need a physical version of anything like this anymore. But if, uh, tell me that Trump's face is stamped on it. I don't know. Let's see. Also includes our founding father documents. Yes, the Constitution. The Constitution in the which Bible. Which I'm fighting for every single day very hard to keep Americans protected. Also, the right, right. Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence. Why is this stuff this thing? <laughs> Why is this video square? I don't know. <laughs> Just make sure you can get it on your smartphones. So Trump smartphone it. coming soon. I, so it's the it's the Bible, the Constitution, not, uh, King James version, but also Lee Greenwood version, and uh-huh. it's it's the on the uh, first day of Earth. Proud God to be an American gave Bible, us light. but most Bibles do not have the Constitution, no. the Declaration of Independence. That was the whole separation of church and state. But let's bring them together, dude. Those two are not generally included in the context of the Bible. Mm-hmm. What what else we got in here? Treasure maps or the anything? The Pledge of Allegiance okay. oh, are good, all good, good. part of this. <laughs> Great. God bless the USA Bible, and it's just very important and very important to Is me. this a different testament that we're just adding in? Is like the USA testament? <laughs> we're close. We're hovering right around that. I want one of these suckers. $5 says Jesus was born in the United States of America. You know, my dad wouldn't have bought this Bible because it's the wrong color leather. He did not like this, like, tannish leather. Oh, he liked really? the dark. like the dark, dark leather, like almost like alligator color leather. Okay. That's what he was into. So Maybe Trump there's would some had, color uh, options. And my, my dad probably would have been a Trump guy by now. I'm pretty sure he would have been because he was big into the Facebook memes. Mm. And, <laughs> you know, like, that just sucks you down the vortex and you end up on the other side. 
And would you, Bonnie just like not vote? She's like, uh, I just don't. My I don't mom, want to be a part of it. I never in my life. My parents very rarely talked about politics, um, Lucky. or really religion for that matter. Uh, but my mom. Now you have a book that could make you talk about both. My mom didn't have a political bone in her body. Like, she never would talk about this. My mom talked about the important things to her. Uh, John and Kate plus eight. Right. That was very, very tops on her list. Uh, She talked about, she liked the Kardashians toward the end there. Oh, reality television gal. She was big into reality television. Very, very big into that. She used to go into her room all the time because my dad would want to watch some stupid History Channel stuff, and she hated that. And she'd lay down in her bed, and she'd uh, she'd eat her Nutella because she was uh, super into Nutella. And she would watch her reality shows and just stack those suckers up. She was huge into that. Very, very big into that in her soap operas and stuff. I want to have a lot of people have it. You have to have it for your heart, for your soul. Got to have it. Many of you have never read them and don't know the liberties and rights you have as Americans and how you are being threatened Uh to lose those rights. It's happening all the time. It's a very sad thing that's going on in our country. Why is it faced this way and there's nothing like on the... It doesn't even say Bible on the cover. You know what I mean? It's not even in the frame whatsoever. No. Like, shouldn't it say Bible or proud to be an American Bible on it? I don't see any of that. If I'm looking correctly, I think he's holding it backwards. Or like the other... Is he? Like backside front right now. He could have it upside down. Let's see if he switches. We're going to get it turned around. Yeah, we are. Religion and Christianity are the biggest things missing from this country. And I truly believe that we need to bring them back and we have to bring them back fast. I think it's one of the fast. biggest problems we have. That's why right. our country is going haywire. We've lost religion in our country. Uh-huh. All Americans need a Bible in their home. And Coincidentally, I- I've got one to sell. Here That's you it. go. What is the price? Please uh, tell me. Oh, I don't even have the price in front of me. Dig the price up. We'll take a quick break. We'll come back with price reveal, and we'll oh, see. Oh, I got it. You want it right now? No, no, no. Wait, just let's let people hang Golden. on. Golden. And we'll we'll get back with that. Plus, we'll learn if the Bible was backwards and what else is in this sucker. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Your thirty seconds of airtime awaits. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio one hundred four point one. Tap the microphone and speak. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. GoldsmithJewelry.com. Travel with caution. Authorities are clearing up an accident on State Road 408 eastbound at John Young Parkway. All lanes are blocked on Orange Blossom Trail southbound at Maitland Boulevard. In the off-ramp from Maitland Boulevard eastbound to Orange Blossom Trail is blocked as well. Traveling on I-4, you could expect your regular delays through the city between Princeton Street and Robinson Street. If you see traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline and Standard Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This free port is sponsored by ExpressPros.com. Let Express Employment Professionals help you hire for contract or full-time jobs. Forget about posting jobs, sifting through resumes, and interviews with unqualified applicants. Go to ExpressPros.com to find the location near you. That's ExpressPros.com. The Monster Brew Bus presented by Wasi's Meat Market is ready to roll. Saturday, April 13th with stops in Orlando, Ocoee, and Claremont. Tickets for the bus will go on sale Friday at 10 a.m. The bus will sell out, so please get your tickets this Friday, and you'll be joining us at Brewlando Brewing, Toll Road Brewing, and Claremont Brewing. Special thanks to MCA Transportation and Jersey Mike's. To get more information, go to realradio.fm slash brew. That's realradio.fm slash brew. Hard Rock Bet presents Legal in Florida. You can bet the game on Hard Rock Bet. Get a no regret first bet up to $100 when you sign up now. Offered by the Seminole Tribe of Florida. Must be 21 and over and physically present in Florida to wager. Terms and conditions apply. Concerned about gambling? Please call 1 888 admitted. It's spring. Time to gather your friends and family and fire up the grill with some Kingsford charcoal because everything tastes better cooked on the grill. Whether it's a casual get-together or a special occasion, Kingsford Original will give your food that authentic, wood-fired barbecue flavor everyone craves. Mm, Wow, so good. Because it's not spring until you've thrown some burgers on the grill with Kingsford Original Charcoal, America's grilling expert. Kingsford.com. 
Hey, Orlando, are you looking for new ways to save? Well, on Verizon, you don't need to be on a family plan to get our best deals. Switch to Verizon, and for a limited time, plans start at just $50 per month for a single line with auto pay plus taxes and fees when you bring your own phone with unlimited welcome. That's a savings of $15 per month. And when you switch now, you can save on the things you love to stream, like Netflix and Max. There's never been a better time to switch to the network America relies on. A better plan to save is Verizon. This offer won't last long. Visit your local Verizon store to switch and save big today. $180 BYOD promo credit per phone applied over 36 months for new customers with one new line with your own 4G or 5G smartphone on unlimited welcome plan required. $360 local promo credit applied over 36 months for new customers with one new line. Additional terms apply. In select markets only, auto pay and paper-free billing required. For unlimited welcome plan in times of congestion, unlimited 5G and 4G LTE may be temporarily slower than other traffic. Domestic data roaming at 2G speeds. Sunnyside Electric. Oh, hi. I'm worried about my electrical panel. For static electricity problems involving your cat, press 1. No, my electric panel. For all other inquiries, press 2. Don't even have a cat. Fine. What's your problem, then? My electric panel. It's making sort of a humming noise. Impossible. If your panel is working normally, it should be silent. I know. That's why... Have you tried using those noise-canceling headphones? What? Then you won't hear the humming. How does that help? It'll get you off my back. This would never happen with Frank Gay. But you didn't call Frank Gay. No, but I'm calling them now. When you have an electrical problem, you need help now. A helpful operator to guide you, qualified electricians to diagnose, and repair your electric panel and keep it safe and functional. That's the Frank Gay way. Wish I'd called Frank Gay in the first place. Sorry, can't hear you. I'm wearing my noise-canceling headphones. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com To thank you for 40 unforgettable years, Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's dell.com slash deals. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. Hey, Dante, what's your favorite thing about a Magic Win? No-brainer, Jake. 50% off at PapaJohns.com the day after every Magic Win. Magic Win and fans win with Papa John's because they get 50% off their entire online order. And it's so simple. Just enter the promo code MAGICWIN when you order online at PapaJohns.com. And now you won't miss a shot because you can track your order live with Papa Track. Papa John's Pizza, official pizza of your Orlando Magic. Valid online only, not valid with any other discounts. Delivery fee and taxes extra and not subject to discount offer. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1, Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Filling in the gaps between the New York Times and World Star. Why do this is
And Corey emails, hey, Sean, he says, I'm a podcast listener who rarely gets to listen live due to my job. Corey, nonsense. Bubkiss. This is when you quit your job, if they don't let you listen to this show live. Yeah, if you care, you would. Come on. You say, I'm done. Take the job and shove it. All that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Or you can just listen to the podcast. That's fine. We don't don't care the way. But uh, we appreciate your email. I would love for you to pick me for Fritz on the street. Oh, here he goes. So I can get a Fritz magnet after your big comeback today. He's lubing me up here. He's got me all lubed up and ready. I feel slightly lubed. Oh, okay. Uh, he says, I buy all the shirts and saw you guys at Just OK 8 this year. Prove it. Do you I feel water-based lubed or oil-based uh, lubed? Oh, oil. It's feeling oil. Oh, you here. don't want to use oil-based lube. Man. It's, I got no choice. It's on me now. I listen to every show. It's just usually later in the evening instead of live. I love everyone on the show. and can't wait to see what you guys have in store for the rest of the year. Either can we, Corey. He says, have a great rest of your week. Thank you for the email. I'll put you under consideration. I'll put Corey email over here on the sheet in front of me which is supposed to be for notes on the show but this is all just from the top of the dome it's only just only the intro and Corey's name oh, so far so we have as per usual just a bunch of nonsense uh all right i want to toss this out there because i want to go fishing a little bit okay and if you're somebody who's been watching the baltimore bridge story and you're landing on that side of like this was done on purpose you know, there's there's something behind this, there's some sort of larger story, conspiracy. I want to hear from you. I, maybe nobody comes out of the woodwork. Maybe somebody does. And if you see them light up on the line, Sabrina, just like toss them on hold. And then you don't have to scream or anything. We're just we're going to go uh, Wild Wild West style. That's what I want to do moving forward. When we go live to the lines, we're just going to throw people on hold and, and go fishing. And I want to go fishing for those who see the Baltimore Bridge thing. And you're like, eh, I don't know about this. I don't know. It's all not acting up or not adding up to me. And there's a bunch of you, according to our poll, at the very least, at thenewsjunkie.com slash poll, because we've got about 12.6% of you who are saying and it was done on purpose. It was the Baltimore Bridge collapse an accident. 87% say, yes, it was an accident. And 12% or so so far saying, no, this was on purpose. So if you believe that, I'd like to hear your logic and your thought process and let's uh, let's have at it a little bit. So if you're in that territory, I'm fishing 407 916 1041. All right, it's 407 916 1041. Let's see if you can convince me and bring me on board. All right, do we think, and I'm tossing this around to you, Sabrina, UC Lane, you chat, everybody on dispatches. What do you think? Do you think Diddy is going to end up serving some prison time? Do you think this is going to go that <sighs> bad know, for him? What we're looking at, it's definitely serious, it's right? We're looking all, like it. We're all at, we're all in agreement that whatever's happening is serious on account of the federal raids and stuff, uh, and everybody who's uh, going after Diddy at the moment. But do you think, C. Lane, that this guy's going to end up spending some time in jail, or do you not think it's that serious just yet? I think it's serious, but I don't know if 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 he doesn't have the resources to keep him out of jail. Yeah, he's got big money, right? Yeah. Like, like he could delay it for a long time at the very least, one would think. You'd think the feds would consider that, though, right? I'm sure they did. Especially I, when I, they go out with a big raid like that in two separate uh-huh. locations. Right, at the same time, did there's you see a the lot footage going into this. of the aftermath? I think yeah, it was like they, his attorney had posted it, but they destroyed his house. They did. They Everything. trashed Diddy's house. And we will get into a little more of this in a bit here. I'd be curious if you execute a search warrant like that mm-hmm. and you uh if you end up if exonerated, if Diddy ends up exonerated, can he come back for damages on you know what they did to his house? Put it on the mo list. That's a good question to ask. All right, we got some fish on the line, Sabrina. Oh, yeah, uh, they're biting, okay. Sean. They really uh, are. <laughs> you don't have to go with the fish meme. Yeah, right. Well, you're, <laughs> you said it four times. <laughs> All right, let's, the reel let's, is out. let's see uh, how much we can, uh, sp- I don't know, any other fishing terms. Let, let's just go uh, to for whatever first line. Uh, hello, are you there with us? Hello? Yeah, I'm here. How are you? Right, what, what's, what's your name? Uh, Sean. Actually. Your name's Sean, too. Okay, how do you spell that, by the way? Uh, the good way, S-E-A-N. Oh, and oh, we're wrong. up on wrong. it. We're starting off on a bad foot here. All and right, the buddy. call is dropped. <laughs> All right, scene. So do you actually, are you being serious, you, you believe there's some sort of conspiracy to what's happening with this Baltimore Bridge thing? 
Yeah, I was actually listening to Patrick Bet David's podcast the other day, and they were talking about this. And they had interviewed some of those boat captains that drive those vessels. And, mm. you know, there were flickers of power outages that were going off on that boat in the minutes leading up to it. And those captains drive those routes hundreds of times a year. Yes. So the, the experts Routes. they spoke to found it quite odd that this in particular boat was so far off course. And, yeah, of course you can't move a crazy huge boat like that at the last second. Well, so, well hang on. Hang on, Sean. Wait, wait, wait. wait. But, but, but doesn't quite odd make sense? Doesn't that make sense when you think about it? Because it hasn't happened before, right? This bridge was standing. It seems to be a pretty rare occurrence that it would happen since, you know, now is the time that this occurred. So it doesn't quite odd kind of still make sense. Oh, that's where I sit is quite odd. I'm not sold either side, but I'm in that quite odd category. But if you if you were to land on the other side, right, and let's go past quite odd, wouldn't you have to believe that for some reason these, these people driving this ship, which were led to be Americans, these folks would have had to have been on some sort of larger conspiracy? Would there be anything? Any, do you have any single shred of evidence that would lead you to believe that these folks intentionally wanted to do this? You know, whether they did it in person on the boat or it was done remotely, you know, who knows? Crazy thing. No, 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 no. But that's the thing. That's what I want. That's what I get at. We're not doing who knows. Yeah, yeah. What, what one shred of evidence do you have that that is the case? Oh, I don't have any. I feel like, evidence. yeah. I feel like, right. Yes, and here yeah, lies the problem. But I think Sean is more on the sus <laughs> train than he is, like, completely convinced that this was not an accident. No, I have no information whatsoever to suggest that this would be anything other than a rare accident that happens when you have so many ships going to these ports from time to time. Oh, let's ditch a scene. Let's go. Is anybody else on the line? Any other fishies on the line? <laughs> I forgot how to the... drop the call. Uh, <laughs> he's stuck on permanently. Bye, guys. Yeah, see you later, buddy. Oh, there he's we go. Done. All right, we got uh, line two. All right, line, line two. two. You're live. Are you there? Hello. Hello. I'm here. All, right. All right. What's your name? What's your name? Chris. Chris, what do you believe happened here in uh, in Baltimore with this bridge? You know, I watched that video quite a few times of that boat flickering lights on and off, and it was going one direction, and all of a sudden it just took a turn to the right and headed towards that pylon. I kind of think that maybe, maybe I wouldn't have been the one that wanted to drop the anchor that that would have made the boat turn. Is that possible? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're, you're, you, you've got, you've got, boat? you have question, mark, uh, question marks at the end of your statement, too. So, do you have one single shred of evidence that would suggest? This was anything other than a terrible accident where somebody uh, was trying to stop this container ship out of control. It crashed into the bridge and the bridge fell down. What evidence do you have on the contrary? I want to know who pulled the trigger to drop the anchor. I want to know that fellow. What, what would that, why would that lead you to believe the person was doing something nefarious? The person is trying to stop the ship from hitting the bridge. I want to pray for him because I wouldn't want to bet in his shoes. Okay. I don't even think he actually believes in it. I don't even think he believes in it. That's one of the problems I believe, here. I don't believe it's a conspiracy. No. Yeah, see, I, that's, the, that's what we got going here. Right, thank you, out. sir. Yeah. I, I think half the people who are saying conspiracy don't actually believe it. I need a believer. Like, I need somebody who's deep into it and thinks that this re – oh, you, are you kidding me, Sean? What, are you a sheep? What, do you think that this was just some accident, some random occurrence? But it's always uh -huh. – the argument always seems to be like, but what about this? That's and it's it. like there's no uh, here's the evidence of it because, I mean, honestly, it's only been so long to uh, give it one more day and then they'll start like coming up with something or whatever yeah. blog they're reading will have some sort of AI generated or, evidence or podcast. As you heard that guy he said, look, I listen to this podcast and that has shaped my mind on this now. There's and now the, uh, I'm a got three more people, too. Oh, do we? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Let's let's try one more real quick. All right. Let's let's go over to this line here. Hello. Uh, you're hello. live on the air. Hello. Hey, yeah. what's your name? My name's Sonny. Sonny. All right. Sonny, do you actually believe that there's some sort of conspiracy at play with this bridge in Baltimore? Absolutely. No questions. Okay. All right. And what, what do you believe happened? No, he Sonny. said no questions. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> well... I have a person on the inside that said that Bigfoot was on that boat. Okay. We're gonna All right. Yeah, so here's <laughs> what we got. We, <laughs> we're getting uh, faked, faked with the fish here. We need actual real fish. But 
I think that there's, I think Sabrina might be right. There's not enough people who have a solid enough of a story. Like for 9 11, on 9 12, there wasn't that many people saying 9 11 was an inside job. We also don't on, know that was 2001. Well, but, yeah, but on like on, on, on 9 11 the next year, people solidified here's what happened, you know, steel, uh, here's uh, the proof, can't melt the beams. Yeah, here's this building was blown up. Here's the footage of somebody saying it sounds like an explosion occurred. Yeah. Here's XYZ. They, right they now we're put, marinating. Uh-huh. Right, and give it two more days, and you're going to have a bunch of other people calling with, "This is what happened. This is the backup we have. Here's the YouTube video, yeah, that I have to prove it." Right, and and when you do this, folks, I don't want like this. This guy said this. I want actual, like, I want info. I want documents. I want something of sustenance that you're going to throw to me to try to convince me of this. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to take these down one by one, and we'll see how it all goes. All right, we want to get your dispatches worked in. We want to get more uh, as we go along on the Diddy situation. And what a big win it was in New York City. Oh, boy. We'll get into that. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio. It, 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 it is. The monsters in the morning. Fellas, uh, textures are blowing us up right now. We're getting more texts than we ever have. They're affirming Russ's uh, statement that fried bologna absolutely looks like boobs. Yes. I'm- the Monsters in the Morning. Real Radio 104.1. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. There's a whole bunch of commotion to watch out for due to accidents throughout the area. Travel with caution. All lanes are blocked on Curry Ford Road, westbound at Dean Road, Orange Blossom Trail. All lanes are blocked southbound at Maitland Boulevard, and the off-ramp from Maitland Boulevard eastbound to Orange Blossom Trail is blocked as well. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. Hey, my friends. Did you know that mortgage guy, Don, has the best rates on commercial loans, small business administration loans, and business lines of credit? If you have a high interest rate SBA loan at maybe 9, 10, 11%, if you qualify and you've paid on time for the past two years, Don can refinance your SBA loan at an 8.25% fixed rate. If you need a loan to buy a franchise, you go to That Mortgage Guy Don. If you want to build or expand your business, go to That Mortgage Guy Don. He can help you with commercial loans too. That Mortgage Guy Don and ThatMortgageGuyDon.com is the place to go for all your business and residential loans. Peace of mind at your fingertips. Don't miss the boat, compare your quote with That Mortgage Guy Don. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Tesla Apprentalast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Hey, what's good, guys? This is Angel from the Monsters. You guys know I love to cook on my big green egg. Why? It's impressive, and everything turns out great on the big green egg. If you don't have one, you got to go to Wasi's Meat Market and get a big green egg. They have the lowest prices in the country. They they also have all the accessories, everything that you need. They have the classroom set up so you can teach you the basic techniques on the Big Green Egg and advanced techniques on the Big Green Egg as well. When you get the Big Green Egg from Wasi's Meat Market, there's a lifetime guarantee, so check them out. It's Wasi's Meat Market. Check them on Instagram or go to their website, wasi'smeatmarket.com in Melbourne on Wickham Road. It's Wasi's Meat Market. Hey, baseball fans, did you know that Fubo has the most MLB games you can get without cable? That's right. Only Fubo has the broadcast networks and regional networks you need to watch your home team all year long. Out of market? Don't worry. Fubo has MLB TV, too. Watch on all your devices at home and on the go. Baseball season is finally here. Get Fubo today. Start streaming FuboTV.com. That's F-U-B-O-T-V.com. Hey, let's get out of here. 
With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. You do everything you can for your family. A nice home, good food, family fun, and the right medical care. You plan ahead for your kids' future and their education. That's all great, unless something unexpected happens to you. If you were to die, who would pay the mortgage and all the other bills? Would your family have to sell their home just to survive? That's why you need to call Term Provider for the lowest rates available on quality term life policies, period. Rates for term life are at all-time lows, and Term Provider could save you 50, 60, even 70%. Already have coverage? Call and see if you're paying too much. Term Provider could save you thousands. And if your health isn't perfect, even more reason to call. We'll match you with the right policy even if you have weight issues like diabetes or high blood pressure. Right now, your family's protected. Make sure that protection continues if something unexpected happens to you. Call for a free quote and see if you can save up to 70%. Call 800-511-3535 now. That's 800-511-3535. 800-511-3535. From the Bay Area to the city beautiful, the Golden State Warriors are making a cross-country trip to face off the Orlando Magic on Wednesday, March 27th. Be at Kia Center for this big game and catch all the action live as Paolo Bancaro, Franz Wagner, and the Magic go up against Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, and the rest of the Warriors during their only visit to Orlando this season. Don't miss out. Get your tickets today at OrlandoMagic.com and be ready to cheer on your Orlando Magic. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. We recently received a call from an injured person. The insurance company had offered them $11,000. We took the case over and got more than $2 million in court. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Store Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. A1 is also your one call for garage floors and garage storage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. If your garage door is noisy, if bugs are getting in, or if it struggles to open, your garage door is in need of a repair. Call today and take advantage of our $29.95 tune-up special. A1 from day one. Tax Talk with Straight Talk. You give and you give. This tax season, you get with Straight Talk Wireless. You get a reliable 5G network and unlimited data and a Samsung Galaxy A14 included when you buy an extended silver unlimited plan. So you can give your janky phone to your kid. Switch to Straight Talk. Find us at Walmart and straighttalk.com. For network management practices, visit straighttalk.com. Device offer ends 4-14-24. Taxes and fees apply. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Lost 80s, playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s. Duran Duran, Huey Lewis, Tina Turner, and more, all commercial-free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free? Never sounded so good. GMC Sierra trucks in stock now at orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. Occupying the space between high society and prison tattoos. With AI, Sean. Friend, I can confirm two things. Number one, I am not artificial intelligence. I am regular intelligence. And you're not even that much regular intelligence. I'm full on regular intelligence, C Lane. I'm peak regular intelligence. But also, this is the real deal. We're live, we're real human beings, and we're Hello. hanging out with you. That's right. Yeah, that's right. So. All you need to do to join us on the show today is send us what we call a dispatch. You don't have to necessarily wait on the phones. Uh, 
Unless we're fishing. If we're fishing for you, then we'll grab you. But otherwise, you could send that dispatch, which Sabrina is working on some sort of dispatch thing there. What yes, <laughs> I am uh, totally a normal human. Oh, you're AI. <laughs> right. You're the first to, to fall to uh, the artificial Sabrina intelligence. Sabrina died four years ago, and you didn't notice. <laughs> Go to thenewsjunkie.com, and you can see where you can record a dispatch and fire it off to us over here. We were talking about the crew of the ship that smashed into the Baltimore Bridge, and this story says they could be stranded on board for two weeks as rescuers battled to clear all the steel and bridge pieces Bodies. off of that ship. They're still looking for some of these workers because there's six workers that went missing as all of this went down. Um, and it's sad stories all around, you know, like one of them with like three kids and stuff and oh. just anybody who dies, it doesn't matter if you have kids or not. So kind of a weird thing we do, but I guess it does suck more if you leave people behind. It says the crew of the stricken cargo ship that crashed into a Baltimore bridge could be stuck on board for up to two weeks as authorities scramble to clear the wreckage. The 948 long, a foot long container collided with the Francis Scott key bridge shortly after it left its port. Two people were rescued. The search for others is now a recovery operation. The boat from Singapore, Dolly, was crewed by 22 Indian nationals. Oh, my God. There were Indians on this boat. They must have had something to do with it. My God. They must have had something to do with it. None of whom were thought to have been seriously hurt in the incident. That's kind of crazy to think about. I mean, it's a big ship, man. It's 100 tons on board this thing, and it hits the bridge, and you got to imagine, like, Imagine being on a boat and hitting a sandbar and like your momentum sort of ceases, but sure. you're like, you know, like you're still moving forward on the deck of the ship like that on fire because your ship is cruising and then you hit the bridge in Baltimore. And, but they still, they were all right. The folks who were on board this thing when it happened at 126 AM on Tuesday morning, they said uh, the director of a local Mariners charity said he feared they could be stranded on board for up to two weeks because they're surrounded in all this stuff, and they got an investigation underway right now. Sure, the first thing they'd want to do is get off the ship, and it appears to be the last thing they can do in this very moment. Yeah, I mean, maybe rules-wise, it's the last thing they can do, but physically... What are you saying? Just pop off? You can get off that ship. Just woo! Cannonball! Look at the, look at the pictures of where it is. It's pretty close to the, to the shore. It's frigid cold waters. I don't know if I'd be jumping off on that thing. They're pretty tall to begin with, these container ships. Mm -hmm. you know, and they're big-ass ships. Every once in a while, they'll get into some trouble, and they'll dump a bunch of stuff in the ocean that goes floating around all the time. Yeah, remember, people, when, remember when it was the Turkey and the Wolf book? Yeah, it's the guy's <laughs> book who owns the restaurant, the Turkey and the Wolf, and they all they were, were being all shipped to the United States, I believe. And the container ship they were on crashed, and all those damn books sunk underwater. Now, and if they knew which of those containers had the booze in it, time, oh. to, time to start with the, uh, the old, the old uh, what was it, the lock cutters? You got to <laughs> have, uh, like, an inventory on the ship, right? Manifest or something? Yeah. Uh, to just see which one you can go into to get the good stuff. I'd want that ASAP. But a lot of people actually are confused when they look at the ocean and go, oh, there's so much trash out there. There's all these islands of trash, and there's all this trash in the ocean. The ocean is massive in scope. That's the first thing that most people with at least decent-sized brains can comprehend, and you, of course, being one with a huge brain, can absolutely understand this. And in certain areas of the ocean, where they'll talk about, like, um, you know, like the floating landfills that take up the size of Texas or whatever in the ocean— it is either stuff from these container ships when they crash and dump their load overboard, or most generally speaking, it's just stuff that falls off of boats. It's ropes. It's a lot of plastics. It's, it's a lot of ropes, a lot of nets, a we were, lot of nets that make up that stuff. We were talking yesterday about <clears throat> you know whether or not we'd want to go exploring in space or deep sea, you know, ocean stuff. Yeah, you know, we talked about the Mari one. Marianas Trench, and and I had said that um, I would probably pick space because there's not a whole lot to see on the bottom of the ocean unless there's, like, some... Those scary fish, you know, like, Yeah, unless there's some fish that we, you know, don't know about. You just need lights. Yeah, you need a lot of light because it's pretty dark out there. Uh -huh. I think, though, the one part of the ocean that I'm a little fascinated by is on the other side 
where they dump all the satellites and spaceships. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> right. That's an interesting spot. But it's like it's so remote that it is the part it is like the part of the ocean that if you were at the surface would be farthest from any piece of land. Yeah, yeah, because they, they uh, obviously because of the risk, they don't want to do that. That makes sense. But to dive down there and see all those uh, dead spaceships, I mean, that'd be I'd want to do that, cool. too. I, Courtney won't go anywhere where this stuff happens. She won't go to any. She's scared of big so wait, statues. Wait, wait, wait. Dune has too much sand. The too ocean much has sand. too much water. Too much water. No, she's not scared of the ocean. She likes the ocean, but she's scared of statues that are big and especially scared of statues that are underwater. So uh, I was like, I, I said, it, yeah, all right. I said, I, I said it would be really cool to go see Christ the Redeemer. You guys know what Christ the Redeemer yeah. is, right? In Brazil, right? Yeah. That no, huge not the one on top statue. of Brazil. It's the one that's sunk underwater. No, Christ, that- Christ the Redeemer is the big one that's up way up, way up in the air. And, and there's a there's, Jesus underwater too, by the keys yeah, or something like that. Okay. There's, there's a famous like religious one underwater too. She wouldn't do either of those oh. because underwater statues equals creepy and like big giant statues e- equals creepy. Don't even bring up some of these Buddha statues that they have in China. I don't, uh, I mean, they're just unbelievable. Um, hold on. Let me see if we can find this because of how the, big they are. Oh yeah, the big giant Buddha. areolas, man. Does she? Uh, what, what, how, what's what are her thoughts on Mount Rushmore? Oh, she's not, not a fan. Mount not, Rushmore it, is creepy. That's it's less weird creepy. because it's like it's carved into something. This I, isn't it. Uh, I'm trying to find the one that I was talking about. I think what's crazy about Rushmore is that they just like uh, got lazy and didn't finish it. Because if you go, I've never been, but if you if you go to like the the park where you go see Mount Rushmore, they have a a rendering or like a, a small sculpture of what it was supposed to look like. Uh-huh. It was supposed to be a lot bigger. I think more of their bodies were supposed to appear. Yeah, they were. Eventually, they were going to do that, but it got lazy. It's one of the most uh, or ran out of money. One of the most amazing historical examples of laziness. I think they did that with the Statue of Liberty too, right? Like they were eventually going to do more with this. Uh, the biggest I'm looking at because she's so freaked out about this. This is her nightmare right here. The biggest statues in the world, where you just see these huge... <laughs> this is Sardar Vahabalaha Pate, Pate, one of the founders of modern India, and it's 597 feet tall, so 600 feet, 60 stories tall is that statue. The Spring Temple Buddha, it's another just absolutely massive one. When you look at it, you go, what on earth am I looking at? Wow. She doesn't like these giant things. She's freaked out. I love to see these things in person. I'm going to have to drag her uh, to pill her up or something, you know? Oh, okay. No, you don't. Just put yeah. a blindfold. She uh, she wants to be there, but I think she wants she to be wanna, like, a little inebriated. How weird would that be if you were just dragging her drugged up body to go see the damn thing? She could keep moving when she's pretty out of it. That has some red flags. I hope someone no. from the public would stop you and ask what the heck's going on. No, she's still a machine. If she's if I if I've dropped a couple of things in her drink, uh, of course with her consent, right? It, she would she would be able to still walk. She'd be able to march her way through all these big statues, but she'd just be cool about it. Sunglasses on, not a worry, all, all good to go. But if not, oh god, end of the world kind of things would be happening. All right, let's go over to you. Let's work in some dispatches. Let's see what you got going on. Here's Hot Summer Day's Sexy Cancun Nights with a dispatch. So I work in the ports in Tampa over here. And uh, when a ship comes in from another country, they have armed security there. So uh, you can look up there and see them. They're clearly um, from another country. But, you know, they, they could jump off and claim some kind of status, I'm sure, and not go back to their home country. And uh, so, yeah, they, that's that's not uncommon for, for people to not be able to get off the ship. Uh, I see what he's saying. So he's saying for, like, some countries, you don't have too many countries where you have that concern where you think that they're just going to flee. It's not like Cuban baseball teams, which was always the thing in the news. It was like Cuba's baseball team goes for an away game. And, and this is not just once this has happened. This is, like, a lot of times this has happened. And the whole team will flee. And the whole Cuban baseball team would be like, all right, we don't live in Cuba anymore. Take me out of this country. <laughs> yeah, they're gone. They're done for. And they say, all right, we're, we we want to get away from this. This happened many times. That's why if you're in, like, the backup squad on the Cuban team, you're like, eventually, I'll be on the team. <laughs> just a waiting game. Yep. I just got to wait. 
Got to give it to those folks. Oh, we got to pay this off because we mentioned it, and then I didn't let Sabrina deliver the answer. The Trump Bible, it's not just a Bible. It's it's a God bless Trump, the USA Bible. God bless the USA Bible. It's a, 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 a deal with Lee Greenwood. They're doing like a co-brand thing. You know, Trump plus Lee Greenwood. God bless the USA Bible. It's full of... All of the founding documents of the United States of America. Plus the founding words of our Lord and Savior. Yes, got both those together. King James Bible. Um, and how much was the cost for this thing if somebody wanted to buy this from Let's Trump? Let's be perfectly clear. This is brought to you, Lee Greenwood, Trump, the Bible, Constitution, Star Spangled Banner, I believe. Was there another? Yeah. Yeah, the Star Spangled Banner is in it. The Bill of Rights is in it. You know, all the constitutional stuff. And that goes for a the low, low price of fifty nine ninety nine. Ooh! I honestly, yeah. I thought it would be more. Listen to this. Uh, Go buy one, C Lane. Go snag one right now. What? I don't want one. You it's can, at God bless the USA Bible dot com. I'm you looking can at sell it. the Bible. Is like you're at this point allowed yeah. to make a rendition of the Bible and yeah. sell it. Okay. If anything's public domain, the Bible's public domain. You All know, right. that's out There's there. There's junky Bible coming soon. I'm looking at it. It says Holy Bible. He did have it backwards, I think, because it says Holy Bible on it, and this says God bless the USA Told underneath you. it. He did because the, uh, the, the um, thumbnail on Fox News has it where you could tell it's upside down, I think. Yeah, he's okay. holding the Bible backwards Idiot. and upside down. All right, when we come back, the next episode with Sabrina. What's coming up on the next episode? What's coming up on the next episode? A mayor of a real town is very mad that a fake town isn't accurately portraying the real movie about a fake scenario. I'll explain. The bid adieus to L.A.'s conga room, and thousands are left wondering how... They'll not control themselves any longer. Plus, it's the 60th, I'm sorry, 50th anniversary of Waterloo, and ABBA wants to give you a chance to celebrate. All that and so much more coming up on the next episode. And that is coming up next on the News Junkie. Coming up tonight on Real Radio, at 7, it's a corporate time with Tom and Dan. Brought to you by Gringos Locos and Modern Plumbing Industries. At 9 p.m., it's Real Laughs with comedians James, Miguel, Ken, and Mike. And Real Music starts tonight at 10 on Real Radio 104.1. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast on this Wednesday. And for today, we are expecting some increasing shower and thunderstorm chances. Most of these will be scattered and stay to the north of Orlando. But we could expect some isolated downpours, some of which could have some heavy rain, small hail, gusty winds, and frequent lightning. These will taper off a bit throughout the overnight. A cold front, though, arrives tomorrow, bringing with it the increasing chance of a few more showers and thunderstorms, looking drier and sunnier, though, into the weekend. This report is sponsored by Direct Auto. Direct Auto insurance is for uncompromisers. With savings of up to 25%, you can stop compromising and keep driving. Get a free quote at directauto.com. Savings based on discounts can vary. How you buy can affect price. National General Group, Winston-Salem. Is there anything more beautifully delicious than a fresh from Florida bell pepper? That's just a bell pepper. Uh, this is a culinary masterpiece waiting to happen. Whether it's sauteed, stuffed, or skewered, Sliced, diced, or julienned. Imagine the possibilities. It looks like a bell pepper. But it tastes... Wow, like a bell pepper. Fresh from Florida. For Florida bell pepper recipes that will please any palate, visit freshfromflorida.com. There's sunshine in every bite. Hard Rock Bet presents Legal in Florida. You can bet the game on Hard Rock Bet. No more betting inside your head. A no regret first bet up to $100 when you sign up now. Offered by the Seminole Tribe of Florida. Must be 21 and over and physically present in Florida to wager. Terms and conditions apply. Concerned about gambling? Please call 1 888 admitted. Are you a victim of the Timeshare trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original Timeshare cancellation expert. And I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a Timeshare exit information kit absolutely free explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call Wesley now for your free info kit. 800-522-5700. 800-522-5700. 
Pizza's here. Oh, great. I love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by Abvi. If you owe the IRS and can't pay, now is the time to call J. David Tax Law. After a two-year hiatus, the IRS has resumed their aggressive collections letters. Don't wait. Call J. David Tax Law or visit jdavidtaxlaw.com. Did you know your life insurance is an asset you can sell? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. For almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. And at abacuspays.com, we've created a free policy value calculator so you can find out the worth of your policy in just seconds. There are no fees and no obligations. Get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Learn more at abacuspays.com. This is trial attorney Jeff Kaufman from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind. Yes, another attorney commercial. When people ask me what they should look for when they're hiring an attorney, I make it pretty simple. One, has your attorney been practicing for more than 10 years? Two, do they pick up the phone when you call? And three, do they actually care about you? If this works for you, contact us at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546, Office Orlando. You can live out your master chef dreams when you find a professional on Angie to tackle your dream kitchen remodel. Connect with skilled professionals to get all your home projects done well. Inside to outside, repairs to renovations. Get started on the Angie app or visit Angie.com today. You can do this when you Angie that. Real Radio is on Instagram at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Real, real, Occupying the space between high society and prison tattoos. This is the new. Thanks to Brandon Logano, G. Luciano, and Stacey Adams, the latest Secret Show subscribers. Appreciate you. If you want to learn more and go uncensored, you can explore over at thenewsjunkie.com right now. Very quickly, congrats to the single winner, just one winner in New York City who won the $1.12 billion Mega Millions jackpot. Man, I feel like we barely even talked about this. That's a lot right there. Somebody so wait, New Jersey Mega Millions, was a winner. Wait, so Powerball is still big then, right? Powerball is big, yes. Mega Millions was the one that was just won in, um, it says, a Mega Player was sold in New York. Uh, so that's where they got the actual winner to this whole thing, $1.12 billion, which is crazy. Not All bad. Right. Let's get into it. Let's do the next episode. Because there's a lot on TV. And you can't possibly keep up with all of it. Even though you should, because what else are you going to talk about? I have pancreatitis. Nothing. Weather's true. Nice. It's time for the next episode with Sabrina. Smoke weed every day. Hold up. The next episode brought to you by that mortgage guy, Don. That mortgage guy, Don.com, and of course, the Home Loans Radio Show. But if you are refinancing, buying your first dream home, perhaps you're trying to expand that business, then you have to work with the expert, someone who's part of the Real Radio family, someone who has your best interest in mind. And you start that process by going to that mortgage guy, Don. Don't miss the book. It was a mere 33 years ago, 1991, the bad boy of this group. Step by step. Oh, uh, Backstreet, no. Uh, New Kids on the Block. New Kids on the Block now for an extra point. Who is considered the tough guy in the group? 
That it wasn't Donnie Wahlberg. It was yeah. Donnie was Wahlberg. It? Oh, man. It of course Fritz would know this. Tough Hello. dude. Welcome, Fritz. It's nice to see you. Nice to be here. And it was on this day, Fritzy, that Donnie was arrested in Kentucky on arson charges. Ooh. Fire. Ma, 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 ma. He allegedly poured vodka on a hotel carpet and set it on fire, as one does. Nice. Also, the plea, uh, a plea Waste bargain. Waste of vodka? It is, and I honestly did not know the vodka was so flammable. It's not really. Okay. I don't think. It's so not? It's the whole bottle? Unless you, get, the, if you get a 151. In the movies, it is. In the movies, when they have, like, a character pour down some vodka and light sure. it, like, you know, it goes up. I mean, I used to, back in the heyday of the show, used to do the you know, Spitfire trick for everybody. Uh-huh. But that was with 151. Yeah. If, not anymore. Yeah. If you pour no, vodka no. on, like, a, a hot pan... And the, the, the steam that comes up is alcohol vapor. You can light that on fire. Okay. Well, he, uh, you could also light anything on fire and then get a plea. And it's now second-degree criminal mischief. And he lives to tell the tale. Now, I don't know if this is criminal, but it's certainly mischievous. We've got a new contender for the president of the United States of America, my friends. Oh, who's jumping in? And I find this to be very entertaining, and that's why I'm sharing it with you. As a 35-year-old U.S. Army veteran, thank you for your service. Also, a seventh-grade math teacher, thank you for your service. In the Dallas area, thank you for listening, Dallas. And he is uh, formerly known as Dustin Eby, Mm E-B-E-Y, but he has now changed his name to literally anybody else. All right. And is put so in his candidacy oh, for the 2024 U.S. presidential election. So on, on the ballot, you'll have like Biden, Trump, and then literally anybody else will be one of the options. As long as he can get all these signatures. Now we all know, of course, because Man, it'll this be is a long Bible. con to get this on a ballot. He has to uh, just Photoshop it, man. What's wrong with you? <laughs> he has to collect 113,000 signatures from non-primary voters in Texas by May. <laughs> So, Damn. best of luck. And he acknowledges that this is challenging, but the biggest thing is it's a protest vote. Mm-hmm. That will go absolutely nowhere. Yeah. You know, I, I do think there's something that's not getting enough attention, and that's the RFK votes are, are bigger than people think they are. He's going to pull away more votes he than people Aaron think. Aaron Rodgers mm-hmm. as his VP? Come no, on, he, man. He, he chose his VP yesterday was at it? an event he was doing, and he picked this lady who's like um, in the tech sphere. She used to be uh, married to one of the Google founders. She's hmm. loaded rich. She's oh, loaded good, rich, good. and she's basically the one who bought him that Super Bowl commercial. So, you know, <laughs> get somebody a Super Bowl commercial, land the VP slot on the ticket. In some city or in some states, though, he's polling as high as like six, seven, eight percent. So that will be something that makes a difference in, in the election if he keeps doing that. Well, I'm excited. Uh, turns out this new adaptation, this movie right here. Roadhouse? Roadhouse is right, baby. You, you said this was pretty good, right? I liked it. And let me tell you, Jake, you have outdone yourself. You know what? I, <laughs> I was trying to watch it, but when I saw, like, out of shape Post Malone beating the hell out of that guy who was, like, 8, yeah, 14, yeah. like, way bigger than him, I was like, yeah. But did you see know. Jake? Jake Yeah, he's, is, he looks, he's always looked good. God, he has really put in the work. Such a cutie, and I think for the I most part... I slept through half that movie. Yeah, I did too. I yeah. watched the whole thing, uh, and I thought it was obviously much more violent than the original Roadhouse, which I watched uh-huh. a lot back in my day. But uh, his new flick, Roadhouse, it's a hell of a punch, they're saying on Bro Bible. But Key West Mayor ain't too thrilled on how it is being portrayed, the beautiful place that is Key West. Oh. It's not okay. fair, you guys. Correct me if I'm wrong, but okay. it takes place in a fake key. It's it not sure Key does. West. But they're like, P- you're it. if it's one key, it's all the keys. Is that no, how it's not. It? Not, well, with, say, not when you have Key that, West. Say that to Terry Johnson's face, the mayor of Key West. You're going to tell me that uh, some of these small little boating town keys are the exact amount as gay as Key West? Maybe. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Key West is so gay. It's very gay. It's the gayest. Terry Johnson, the mayor of Key West, says, well, she hasn't caught the film, red flag number one, is not pleased with its rowdy, drug-filled, crime-ridden portrayal of the Florida Keys, saying that might have been in the 70s and 80s, but now it's a whole new ball game in 2024, okay? Question. Different drugs. 
Why is Key West gay? Um, a lot of gay people. Well, I understand they, they, oh, they that. Think <laughs> they just had a lot of like, a lot of festivals and stuff. That and, and, uh, so they started to do like fantasy fests and things that were targeting more gay people. And the more gay people said, "This is our territory," and started moving to the Keys. I, I guess so. I mean, that's how how we typically work. Just take All over. Right. Little yeah. towns until it becomes a big gay city. I, I don't even know that the, it's a population thing. I just think it's a gay destination. Uh, ah, and I do like think vacation. a lot. Yeah, and I Gay-cation. think a lot of residents could be split, where yeah. they don't like those gays and get get them fairies out of here. But either way, they're just really upset about Roadhouse and how it portrayed the Florida Keys. They are completely cool now, as it goes by the city's motto. Points. What is Key West City's motto? Oh, uh, let no. Live and let live. Nope, nope that's not it. Uh, fly your freak flag. Nope, flying. One human family. Oh. I looked this up. You don't look like you like that very much, Sabrina. Uh, as opposed to what? One <laughs> alien corny, family? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One I, uh, pack of dogs? What I do you mean? This <laughs> One pack of dogs. About 30% of the uh, Key West 25,000 residents identify as LGBTQ+. Plus, All right. Which, that screws it up because they're all bees. I want to know how many like gay dudes and lesbians are in the keys. That's they're the all answer bisexuals? that I want to know. Oh yeah, when you get like the raw numbers, it's oh. almost all bees that are filling gay, up the numbers. Gay, 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 gay. When I see a photo or like videos, I see a lot of gay dudes in the keys. I just wondered how they got there. Sexual. Um, just to round out the Roadhouse uh, news stories, uh, Cars, Connor McGregor has. Going viral right now. Yeah. Or everyone's like, he's coming down from drugs. Look how much he twitched during all these interviews with Drake I Gyllenhaal. Saw that. Yeah. I don't, I don't really see it, to be honest with you. It seems like it, he's been it, the same guy the whole time. Like, he was just moving around a little bit during an interview, and everybody has to overanalyze everything, oh, I guess. Uh, but there's no overanalyzation on this. It has been confirmed that he, at the premiere, which I believe was uh, just a couple weeks ago, he debuted um, a not one, not two, but seven hundred thousand dollars worth of clothing Damn. to the actual premiere. They say just the outfit he was wearing was six six hundred ninety two thousand. Then he had a seventy five thousand dollar gold pinstripe lace suit, twelve thousand dollar ring, and five thousand dollar Tom Ford shoes. Woof! So it must be nice. Yeah. This is not nice, and I'm sorry. Uh, spoiler alert! Trigger warning. To all fans of this band. Uh, oh, I know uh, this. Butthole Surfers. Butthole right. Surfers point to Fritzy, and they surf no more. Wow. Sorry, no. Buttholes. Yeah, they have announced that, unfortunately, they have turned down a six-figure offer to reunite. <laughs> It's not the biggest offer. Uh, but it's something. Didn't, yeah, wait, didn't it, didn't ABBA turn down like a three hundred million dollar offer? Well, because most of them are dead. Okay, but ABBA has ABBA? A, l- a lot more. One person is dead. There's a lot ABBA. more you want to hear from ABBA than the butthole surfers. Well, they turned down. I will tell you, our system here only has one song yeah, by Peppa the butthole one. service. Mm. service. Pepper. Service. Butthole service. <laughs> butthole service. <laughs> butthole service is a totally different thing. Yeah. And you can get a lot of it in the keys as far as I'm aware. Yeah, I might have to dump that. Uh, we're really lucky to not be in prison, and I don't want to push that anymore, was the direct quote from uh, the lead singer. So mm-hmm. there you have it. And they, if the butthole surfers, the Zavas, ever go to L.A., they cannot perform in L.A.'s conga room as it is officially dead. Damn. I know, and I only pulled that story because it reminded me of Conga. So rest in peace, downtown L.A. Conga room. It has been around for literal decades. 1999, to be exact. It was L.A.'s hotspot for Latin music, and now it's going to be a Kmart. A Kmart. Kmart, Kmart doesn't even a exist spirit anymore. Spirit Halloween store. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh-huh. Bless that. On the boob tube, the masked singer on Fox TV theme night. Whoa. Yeah. Survivor on CBS, The Amazing Race also on CBS. Tonight's schedule also includes Chicago Med, Chicago Fire, Chicago PD, Chicago, Chicago, and a little <laughs> bit more Chicago. You can catch Jerry Seinfeld. Maybe he's going to explain that weird donut joke on Fallon. Follow your dreams on me on Instagram at Sabrina Ambra. A follow is one kitten saved. Ooh. Every single follow. Most importantly, stay with me. God bless the USA Bible. 
Smoke weed every day. Thank you, Sabrina. Why not just eat the whole donut? But why would I get the uh, whole? He's so funny. Uh, <laughs> of all the God. things. Of all the things. I uh, hey, you know, speaking of dancing, yeah. Courtney has been trying to convince me to learn swing dancing with her. Hell yes. yeah. Courtney, do you want to be um, in a hospital? Darcy says that that's one of the most fun uh, dance uh, dance types that you can learn. I yeah, guarantee you. A- I guarantee you she's right on that. It's a but lifting, man. My confidence in my skills being able to swing dance is hovering at a one. <laughs> and Can I'm I clap being, a little bit? I'm being clap. generous. It looks so amazing when they're doing it and they know all the th- you spin around, fire it off like this and that. It's so impressive, but I just don't know if I have it in me. You get to listen to Brian Setzer. Oh, yeah. Oh, 40 times in one session. <laughs> oh, uh-huh. yeah. Over and over. And, and uh, squirrel nut zippers. And uh, oh, yeah. I those. Riot, yeah. That's right. All right. When we come back, Fritz is going to be putting on a, uh, a game show. A game show we call Fritz on the Street, all the right. greatest game in all of radio. And here it is, friends, the very last Fritz magnet in my hand. Um, I don't know. After this, Fritz, we're going to have to get you to design another one here. I will do it tonight. For the next round, this is the last one. You got to get our attention because if we represent you and Fritz on the street and we win, you win and you get the magnet. So grab our attention and we'll get fired up for Fritz on the street. That's coming up next on the News Junkie. All the cool kids are doing it and you want to be like the cool kids, don't you? Well, don't you? The Talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone and speak. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. GoldsmithJewelry.com. Two left lanes are blocked on Forest City Road westbound at Montgomery Road, and authorities are still working on those accidents, closing those lanes on Orange Blossom Trail southbound, approaching Maitland Boulevard. The off-ramp from Maitland Boulevard eastbound to Orange Blossom Trail is blocked as well, and there are slowdowns on I-4 before U.S. 27 and approaching Sand Lake Road. If you see traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Incident Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Direct Auto. Direct Auto Insurance is for uncompromisers. With a super low down payment, you can stop compromising and keep driving. Get a free quote at directauto.com. Down payments vary does not mean savings. How you buy can affect price. National General Group, Winston-Salem. In this week's Marketer's Report, we learn about the value of local influencers in uncertain times. From Allison Griffin, head of marketing at State Farm. The economy is tough for everyone. And taking a step back and understanding the pain that your customers are currently going through because of a tough environment is really important. We have 19,000 agents across the country, and they understand what's going on in those very unique communities. iHeart has such a broad broadcast reach that is local, connected, and for us to be able to touch customers with a local feel but at a national scale is so efficient and important for us. As the number one audio company, iHeart Media gives marketers access to all, from national to local, every audience, live conversations, trusted influencers, and the insights and data you need to grow. Not just a media company, iHeart Media is your access company. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. Tax time means a much needed cash bonus for many people. But for business owners, it can mean the opposite. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill, Mitsubishi, and Deland. My accountant said I need to reduce my tax burden now. So I'm going to overpay for your old car because I'd rather give you the money than the government. Get up to $4,297 more for your old car than it's actually worth. No matter where you bought the car, no matter how many miles are on it. It's simple. Trade in your old car you hate driving and get a new car today. Today, like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. That means most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. RC Hill Mitsubishi specializes in approving customers with below average credit scores. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. This month, my prices will not be beat. This sale ends when my accountant says enough is enough. I'm RC Hill at RC Hill Mitsubishi, Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, Deland and now in Ocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. That's RC Hill. Hill.com. Credit requires bank approval. See rchill.com for details. You don't-
don't need a resolution to lose weight. You need a solution. And that's Red Mountain Weight Loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has full-strength semaglutide in their newest medication called Revelex. It's specifically formulated to provide full-strength semaglutide in a daily tablet. With Revelex, you'll lose up to 15 pounds a month. And it's not a shot, so you can skip the weekly trips to a doctor's office. But here's the best part. Revelex costs about half of what you'll pay for other semaglutide medications like Ozempic. That's right. I said half the price. Plus, Red Mountain includes medically supervised meal plans and free lifetime maintenance to help you keep the weight off. So why go anywhere else? At Red Mountain, you get no shots, just results for half the price. Trust the leader in medical weight loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has helped millions of people lose weight safely, and they can help you too. Go to RedMountainWeightLoss.com. That's RedMountainWeightLoss.com. Hey, homeowners, Russ Rollins here to talk to you about something serious, your power bill. Last summer was tough, but this year could be even worse. So don't wait until the last minute to get protection and savings from solar power and back Backup power. Solar Source has a new pay-as-you-go solar package that lets you start with an affordable base system and add solar panels over time. Plus, their pay-as-you-go battery backup is awesome, and it lets you add critical backup power as you go. Schedule a free consultation at solarsource.com/monsters. Get ready for a stress-free summer. Victim of a slip and fall? It takes one phone call to take back control of your life. Anajar and Levine will fight to get you the compensation you deserve. Call me, Mark Anajar, for a free consultation 1-800-747-FREE that's 1-800-747-3733 mean office orlando people think florida is salty because most of our are surrounded by salt water but it's the other states that are salty why because we get to enjoy mcdonald's breakfast bagels year round you see most parts of the country aren't as lucky as us and can't wake up to a steak egg and cheese bagel with a tender juicy steak patty and savory grilled onions or a sausage egg and cheese bagel with a sizzling hot pork sausage patty or a bacon egg and cheese bagel with thick cut applewood smoked bacon enjoy savory breakfast bagels only at mcdonald's ba -da -ba -ba -ba. at participating mcdonald's when you're eating McDonald's Spicy Chicken McNuggets, take a moment to appreciate that they're back. And while you may be eager to reach for another McNugget, take a moment to let the spice settle. Because the lightly breaded tempura and blend of aged cayenne aren't just spicy, they're worth it. You can order ahead on the McDonald's app. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. But participate in McDonald's for a limited time. McD app download and registration required. It's spring. Time to gather your friends and family and fire up the grill with some Kingsford charcoal because everything tastes better cooked on the grill. Whether it's a casual get-together or a special occasion, Kingsford Original will give your food that authentic wood-fired barbecue flavor everyone craves. Mm, wow. this is so good. Because it's not spring until you've thrown some burgers on the grill with Kingsford Original Charcoal, America's grilling expert. Kingsford.com. Are you a victim of the timeshare trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original timeshare cancellation expert. And I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free, explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call Wesley now for your free info kit. 800-522-5700. 800-522-5700. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Last year, more clients hired Morgan & Morgan than ever before. We now have more offices, more staff, and more lawyers than any other injury firm in the world. Protecting America. Fighting for you. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to MillsAir.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman & Lind Studios. Why Kaufman & Lind? Because you deserve better. Contact them at WhenYouNeedUs.com or dial pound five four six on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD One Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. The game of magnets taking over the world one terrible person at a time. In all 
of radio is just moments away, and the question is, who will we all represent? Because guess what, folks? Cha-ching! It comes down to this. This is the very final Fritz Magnet. These ones are incredibly limited, as are all the rounds of magnets that you can only win by being victorious in Fritz on the street. This one could be yours for your collection or to put on your car so you can actually play Game of Magnets. Right now, we're going to choose who we're representing. If we win, you win. And here we go. Uh, I will be representing Corey, who emailed me earlier in the show. Corey on email. What about you, Sabrina? Oh, I'm going to go with uh, Aria, Aria's World on All right, Instagram. Aria. She just messaged me. Okay, Aria's World uh, on Instagram. And what about you, C Lane? I have picked Trevor on the texting service. Trevor from the texting service. Over where, where Aria on... also tried. <laughs> <laughs> She's what fishing the hell, Aria? I like this. Everybody's fishing today. Also, my favorite text that's not trying to get us to pick them says, Did Courtney say swing dancing or swinging? Uh, oh, swing oh, dancing. Wow. Uh, swing dancing. Okay. Uh, and it's time now. The big question is Fritz, are you ready? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Let's do Fritz on the street. Now it's time for Fritz on the street. Hello, C Lane. Hello, Sean. Hello, Sabrina. Hey. What's oh. happening, Fritz? What up? Wow. Fritz on the Street, sponsored by Mo DeWitt. Injured on the go, just call Mo. 866 Call Mo. That number, 866 Call Mo. In first place on Fritz on the Street with 78 points, we have Mr. Christopher Lane. Yeah, all right. In second place with 69 points, we have Mr. Sean Wasson. And in third place with 68 points, we have Miss Sabrina Ambra. Okay. So 78, 69, 68, eight questions, four current event questions, and four general knowledge trivia questions. If you think you know it, chime in for that opportunity to pick up a bonus point. One is to assume that you asked these questions at Cavo's last night. Thank you for asking. Yes, I have a trivia night each Tuesday night at Cavo's Bar and Kitchen, and uh, we had eight teams. We had Ooh. massive teams, too, so I don't know how they're going to be splitting those uh, $50 gift certificates. <laughs> nice. I've only got $2. Yeah, yeah. but um, <laughs> people stayed around and participated, and uh, these are the results. All right. So without okay. further ado, we start, obviously, with question nine. Wait, wait. Question one. <laughs> At least 100. Ceiling? Like... Ceiling? Maryland. That is incorrect. At least 140 are dead after a ten. Sean. Sean? Russia. That is incorrect. Oh, my God! At least 140 are dead after a terrorist attack at a music hall in which Russian city? Oh, damn it. Oh, no. Oh, come on. I know, but I forgot the name of the city. Uh, the big one. The big one. Sean, <laughs> what are you doing? Whatever. I'm in third place, and I still can't think of the big Russian city. Moss. Moscow. <laughs> that is correct. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. What? I didn't say anything. I'll remember that, and I'll help you in the future. How Moscow about that? is correct. Sabrina, out of eight answers, how many do you think said Moscow? I will say six. Six. Seven. Seven for C-Lane. Five. And five for Sean. Question number one with answers of five, six, and seven. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, someone's bitten. At they least 140 are dead after a terrorist attack <laughs> at a music hall in which Russian city? I don't know. Moscow? Moscow. Was that Moscow? Moscow. 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 Um, Moscow. Oh. What about stock? That would be seven. So C Lane is picking up two points. And Sabby, with your guess of six, picking up one point. Moving on now to question number two. We're talking Hollywood filmmaking magic. Question two. Wesley Snipes and Woody Harrelson work as hustlers in what? Sean. Na- Sean? White men can't jump. White men can't jump is correct. Yeah. Full question. Work as hustlers in what 1992 film? Sean, out of eight answers, how many do you think said white men can't jump? By the way, white men can jump. I have huge ups. Oh, huge prove it ups. right now. Go to the white shop. I the camera can't catch how high I go. Actually, wow. it's, it's, yeah. um, it sucks. Um, I'm gonna say six, six for Sean. I will four, four for C Lane. Five <laughs> and five for Sabrina. Question two, with answers of four, five, and six. Ding 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 ding. Six. Oh, who knows about the white men? Wesley Snipes and Woody Harrelson work as hustlers in what 1992 film? White man can't jump. White man yes. can't jump. 
cab driver. Oh. I don't know that. Uh, hustlers. White men can't jump. Uh, Come on. White men can't jump. I honestly can't remember. I know this. Um, Come on. White men can't jump. Ah. That's five. So Sabrina's yeah. picking up two points. And Sean and Celine with your guesses of six and four, each picking up one point. Right. Moving on now to question number three. On Tuesday, at least six people were Sabrina. Celine. Maryland. That is incorrect. Sabrina. Sabrina? Baltimore. Baltimore is correct. Ha! I mean, that's obviously a huge no, tragedy. No, 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 no. no. Uh, do your laugh thing. What laugh thing? The thing you just did. What are you talking that about? That was you. <laughs> I, I, that's, it says over here it's coming from your microphone. Yeah, that's what so it says, Elaine. You got the meters. Yeah. So. On yeah. Tuesday, at least six people went missing after a cargo ship collided with the Francis Scott Key Bridge in which U.S. City. Sabrina, out of eight answers, how many do you think said Baltimore? I will go with seven. Seven? Eight. Eight. Four, Elaine. Six. And six for Sean. Oh. Question three. With answers of six, seven, and eight. Oh, ding, 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 ding. Who knows they're Baltimore? On Tuesday, 86. at least six people went missing after a cargo ship collided with the Francis Scott Key Bridge in which U.S. city? Baltimore. Baltimore? Baltimore. 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 Uh, Baltimore. Or right, Baltimore. Yes. That would be seven, so Sabrina's hitting a three-pointer on that one. Kobe. And Sean and Celine with your guesses of six and eight, each picking up one point. Damn We're it. moving on now to question number four. That's the halfway point here in Fritz on the Street. After question four, I'll tell you who is leading so far on the day. Question four. What newspaper was founded in 1889? Sabrina. Sabrina? Man, that was a <laughs> <laughs> great year. For newspapers. That was yeah. a really early time to, to jump in. 1889. The Post. That is incorrect. All right. What newspaper was founded in 1889 by Charles H. Dow and Edward Jones? Ceiling. Ceiling. Oh, my God. Ah, uh, ooh. Uh, I'm going to go Turn with up. the Dow Jones. That is incorrect. Son of a John, bitch. Sean. Sean. Wall Street Journal. That is correct. Nicely done, Sean. Out of eight answers, how many do you think said the Wall Street Journal? Three. Three. Five. Five for Ceiling. Two. And two for Sabrina. Question four. With answers of two... Three and five. Ding, 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 wow. ding, ding. Perfect. Through four. On, what three. newspaper was founded in 1889 by Charles H. Dow and Edward Jones? Wall Street Journal. New York Times. New York Times. Huffington Post. New York Times. What? New York Times. Okay. New York Times. Yes. The Dow, uh, Wall Street Journal. Ah! That is correct. <laughs> Two. That means Sabrina's picking up two points, and Sean, with the guess of three, picking up one point. That means four questions down and four remaining in first place with nine points. We have Sabrina Ambra slash Area's World. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In second place with five points, we have Sean Wasson slash Corey. And in third place with four points, we have C Lane slash Trevor. Yeah, sorry, Trev. Moving on now to question number five. On Monday, Feds raided a loss. Sabrina. Sean. Sabrina. Sean Puff Diddy Combs. That is correct. On Monday, feds raided a Los Angeles home during an investigation into sex trafficking charges against which music mogul? Sabrina, out of eight answers, how many do you think said P. Diddy, Sean Combs, Puff, 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 Puff Daddy, Daddy, Puff Poofy. Adder, whatever the hell? I will go Puff with <laughs> six. Six. Eight. Eight for Celine. Seven. And seven Christy for man. Sean. Question five with answers of six, seven, and eight. Ding, 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 ding. Ooh, who knows it? On, on Monday, seven. feds raided a Los Angeles home during an investigation into sex trafficking charges against which music mogul? P. Diddy, Puffy, what is his name? P. Diddy. P. Diddy. <laughs> P. Diddy. Pass. P. Diddy. Sean Combs. No, oh, uh, P. Diddy. Uh, P. Diddy. Sean P. Diddy Combs. <laughs> P. Diddy Combs. That would be seven. So, uh, Sean has picked up two points on that one, and Sabrina and C. Lane with your guesses of six and eight, each picking up one point. Moving on now to question six, three remaining. Prior to 1954, Veterans Day was known as what in the U.S.? Sabrina. Sean. Sean? Or Sabrina, sorry, that was Sabrina. I was hoping you were going to get Sean. <laughs> Veterans Day was known as War Memorial Day. That is incorrect. Right. Sean? Sean? Is it Armistice Day? That is correct. Ah. Yeah. Sean, out of eight answers, how many do you think said Armistice Day? Referring back to World War One. Four. Four? Two. Two for Sabrina. 
Uh, four. And four for C-Lane. Question six with answers of two and four. Ding, 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 ding. Ah, the streak it's... continues through six. Uh, prior to 1954, Veterans Day was known as what in the U.S.? Oh, Armistice Day? Remembrance Day. I don't know. Military Day? Armed Forces Day. I don't know. Armistice Day. Military Appreciation Day. That would be two. So Sabrina's picking up two points. That <laughs> we move on to question seven. Which member of the British royal family Sabrina. announced Sabrina? That'll be Kate Middleton. That is correct. On full question, which member of the British royal family announced a recent cancer diagnosis? Sabrina, out of eight answers, how many do you think said Princess Kate or um, Princess Catherine? I'll go with seven. Seven? Six. Six for C-Lane. Eight. And eight for Sean. Question seven with answers of six, seven, and eight. Ding, 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 ding. Perfect through seven. Which member of the British royal family announced a recent cancer diagnosis? Princess Kate. Princess Kate. Charles. Princess Catherine. Princess Catherine. Princess Meghan. Middleton. Uh, Kate Middleton. That would be six. So C-Lane is picking up two points, and Sabrina, uh, with your guess of seven, picking up one point. We now move on to question eight. That's the last one here in Fritz on the Street. Yeah, just for the record, go for the oats on Twitch. Is Sean at more than three points this week? Yes. Yes, yep. yes I am. Yeah, absolutely. We're moving on to question <laughs> eight. But before we do, let's look at the scoreboard. In first place with 15 points, that used to be one point shy of the record. It's now two points shy of the record. Damn it. Sabrina Ambra slash Areas World in second place with eight points, Sean Wasson slash Corey. Yeah. And in third place with seven points, Christopher Lane slash oh. Trevor. Bad Anyone's day for you, game. Trevor. Uh, I'm going to get this one. It's anyone's game. Question eight. No, it's, no, it's not. No, it's, not. <laughs> it's literally it's not. It's not a thing. <laughs> is it my game? Oops. Uh, <laughs> Question eight. What is the capital of... <gasps> Kentucky. Sea lane. Kentucky. Kentucky. <laughs> Fried chicken. Uh, Kentucky. Everywhere I want to name is in Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. I can't stop thinking. Everywhere you want to name is in Nashville? Yeah, Tennessee. <laughs> uh, Kentucky is going to be Frankfurt. That is correct. Wow. Yes. Nicely done, Sea lane. C-Lane, out of eight answers, how many do you think said Frankfurt? Uh, man, uh, six. Six. Oh, boy. Um, four. Four for Sean. And five. And five for Sabrina. Question eight, with answers of four, five, and six. Do you we guys dare? We're perfect through seven. Come on, baby. Here it is. What is the capital? Oh! Oh! Uh, fried chicken. Bourbon City, Kentucky. Uh, Frankfurt. No, I, I don't know. I don't know. I should know it. I pass. Frankfurt. Paducah. Lexington. <laughs> Lexington. That would be, what did I say here? Two. Two. So no points <laughs> awarded on that one. How and dare you? That means winning on the day with 15 points. Sabrina Ambra slash Areas World. Congratulations. In uh, second and third place, we have a tie, eight points each. Christopher Lane slash Trevor and Sean Wasson slash Corey. That means if I'm doing this right, that would be, yep, got it. All in right. first place with 86 points and still leading on Fritz on the Street, Christopher Lane in second place yeah. with 83 points, three oh. points removed. Sabrina Ambra, and in third place with 77 <laughs> points, Sean Lawson, and that is Fritz on the Street. Thank right, you, Fritz! Thank Fritz. you, Fritz! Thanks, Fritzy. Uh, I mean... Po- points explosion the past two weeks. Yeah. I don't know what happened Wait, to did me my, Did I get points when I wasn't here? No, but uh, Josh uh, got the new record last week with 17 points. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, God. otherwise you might have been close to a record, but mm-hmm. uh, unfortunately so you're close, not. So close, so close. Well, we love you, Fritz. No, thank you. I, love you I don't know if Sean loves you that much right now. I can hear some No, he does. Yeah. It's, not, it's not his fault when I don't perform well at Fritz on the Street. In fact, I answered a lot of questions correctly. I just, everything else to do with Fritz on the Street, I screwed it up. I dropped the ball on that. You can't do that. But what you can do is follow our friend Fritz. Go over to Instagram, no underscore regrets underscore coyote. 
That's where you follow him. I'll have to put him on the share list over at thenewsjunkie.com slash share so you can form a bridge with Fritz. And no matter what happens here, Rocky Roads or otherwise at the radio station, yeah, you'll, know, tower Fritzy. Yeah. you'll know what he's up to. Uh, Instagram, no underscore regrets underscore coyote. And here's what I'd love you to do. Wait until next week and Tuesday is the day when you can go hang out with Fritz and play trivia. Be part of that. And maybe be part of Fritz on the street, too. How fun is that? That's a fun night. Get away from the kids. Get out of the house. Go do something with your girlfriend or your boyfriend or whomever. Have some fun. And go do that at uh, Cavo's for Fritz's Funhouse Trivia on Tuesday night. Fritz, are you hanging out with us for a little bit here today? You know I am, a man. All right. The doctors tried to steal you away last week. I couldn't let it happen again. Yeah. Can't do that. Also, so, excellent but... job uh, at Just OK 8. I think this is the oh, first yeah. time we've seen him. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. no. I didn't we, see him. I'm sorry. We, we, we did that last week. But, you know, you didn't get your chance to do it. So no, no, Family issues. Still did a great job. Thank he you. still did a fantastic job. There's no doubt about that. That's my. Okay. Uh, I just said Sean was going to pay him, though, so I just want to make sure. <laughs> well, uh, the sea lane's got it. He's, oh, sea lane's got it. Did you get yeah. it? What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually, don't actually own checks, so. <laughs> True. All right. Quick what? break. When we come back, we're going to get into a whole world of a mess. Uh, hey, uh, by the way, Fritz. Fritz is not a big Boeing fan right now. I see no. his posts online. Were you surprised in the slightest that the CEO of Boeing stepped down or announced they were stepping down? Um, I was surprised it took him that long. Oh. Like, Me too. He was taking it right across the chin for about two My weeks. God, like how do you, when your company gets drilled that much over and over, like it, it's surprising you're right that it took that long to say, hmm, maybe we need a shakeup over here. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Uh, it's hard to fire yourself from your own job, though. That's, <laughs> Do you look in the mirror and it's just like you're fired? You're fired. Oh, wait, you're, point, we're no point longer. Right. We yeah. have to cease. Something like that. We'll talk about that a little bit more when we return. We'll get into more of your dispatches, of course. And Easter is on the way. But everything is about to change about how your Easter goes down. Don't think so? Try me on this. We'll see. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is The Jim Colbert Show. A bunch of takes, same pancake. The Jim Colbert Show. Weekdays at 3 on Real Radio 104.1. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. There's a whole bunch of commotion this afternoon. Travel with caution. All lanes are still blocked on Orange Blossom Trail southbound at Maitland Boulevard. And the off-ramp from Maitland Boulevard eastbound at Orange Blossom Trail is still blocked as well. All lanes are blocked on Colonial Drive westbound at Hancock Road. Travel with caution there. And on Forest City Road, all lanes are blocked westbound at Montgomery Road. If you see traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Direct Auto. Direct Auto Insurance is for uncompromisers. With savings of up to 25%, you can stop compromising and keep driving. Get a free quote at directauto.com. Savings based on discounts can vary. How you buy can affect price. National General Group, Winston-Salem. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards. Live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Tesla of Prenolast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. It's spring. Time to gather your friends and family and fire up the grill with some Kingsford charcoal. Because everything tastes better cooked on the grill. Whether it's a casual get-together or a special occasion, Kingsford Original will give your food that authentic, wood-fired barbecue flavor everyone craves. Ooh, that is so good. Because it's not spring until you've thrown some burgers on the grill. 
with Kingsford Original Charcoal, America's grilling expert. Kingsford.com. Tax time means a much needed cash bonus for many people. But for business owners, it can mean the opposite. Hey, this is RC Hill from RC Hill, Mitsubishi, and Deland. My accountant said I need to reduce my tax burden now. So I'm going to overpay for your old car because I'd rather give you the money than the government. Get up to $4,297 more for your old car than it's actually worth. No matter where you bought the car, no matter how many miles are on it. It's simple. Trade in your old car you hate driving and get a new car today, like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. That means most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. RC Hill Mitsubishi specializes in approving customers with below average credit scores. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. This month, my prices will not be beat. This sale ends when my accountant says enough is enough. I'm RC Hill at RC Hill Mitsubishi, Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, Deland and now in Ocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. See rchill.com for details. Hey, Dante, what's your favorite thing about a Magic win? No brainer, Jake. 50% off at PapaJohns.com the day after every Magic win. Magic win and fans win with Papa John's because they get 50% off their entire online order. And it's so simple. Just enter the promo code Magic Win when you order online at PapaJohns.com. And now you won't miss a shot because you can track your order live with Papa Track. Papa John's Pizza, official pizza of your Orlando Magic. Valid online only, not valid with any other discounts. Delivery fee and taxes extra and not subject to discount offer. Hey there, it's Russ Rollins. I'm talking to all the homeowners out there who are tired of staring at their cold swimming pools. It's time to stop wasting money on a pool that you can't use. With Solar Source, you can enjoy your pool year round like I do. Top five things Solar Source customers do after solar heating their pools? Well, spend time with your family. Go nighttime swimming. You got uh, you got movie nights in the pool. You got water workouts and much more. Friends of mine, friends of Russ Rollins, can save big money when scheduling a free consultation today at solarsource.com slash monsters. Don't wait any longer. Start enjoying your pool again with Solar Source. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Door Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. A1 is also your one call for garage floors and garage storage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. If your garage door is noisy, if bugs are getting in, or if it struggles to open, your garage door is in need of a repair. Call today and take advantage of our $29.95 tune-up special. A1 from day one. Enjoying the news, Junkie? You've probably heard a ton of injury attorney commercials, but if you are injured and need a lawyer, who's the right lawyer for you? That's why we offer our 30-day risk-free trial. If you are not 100% satisfied with the way we treat you and your case within the first 30 days, you can take your file back and you owe us nothing. No fees, no costs, and no questions asked. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. Go to JustCallMo.com. Mo DeWitt, Orlando Attorney. Hey, baseball fans, did you know that Fubo has the most MLB games you can get without cable? That's right. Only Fubo has the broadcast networks and regional networks you need to watch your home team all year long. Out of market? Don't worry. Fubo has MLB TV, too. Watch on all your devices at home and on the go. Baseball season is finally here. Get Fubo today. Start streaming FuboTV.com. That's F-U-B-O-T-V.com. To thank you for 40 unforgettable years, Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's dell.com slash deals. Mills Air and Business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier Factory Authorized Dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. It's draft season. The 2024 NFL Draft is right around the corner, and the Move the Sticks podcast has you covered for all your draft needs. The show is hosted by me, Daniel Jeremiah, and my partner, Bucky Brooks. When it comes to Detroit and the draft, Move the Sticks is the podcast that will answer all your questions. Which quarterbacks are going in the first round? Don't worry. Tune in and you'll be ready to watch the draft like a scout. Subscribe now and listen to the Move the Sticks podcast on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Morgan & Morgan, dial pound 529 on your cell phone. Pound law, that's all. Radio. Radio. 
on a constant quest to stay calm, like that bear in the hammock. This Dot com. Some of these conspiracy folks are coming out of the shadows, and uh, nobody is the name of this emailer. It just says nobody. That's one way to be anonymous. Nobody says on March 7th, our government put out a... In, uh, hold on. By the way, by the way, if you're going to be a conspiracy theory emailer, what a coward. Put your name behind it. Don't be an anonymous conspiracy person. Yeah. What if his given name Andy's. is nobody, okay? I don't want, uh, like as, as, as Fritz said, I don't want an anonymous Andy's here. I want, like, if you're going to put your name down and say, here's yeah. something that happened. Nobody's you... a nobody. Everybody's a somebody. Thank That's you. true. <laughs> I heard about that. Tibbs at the news junkie.com. Nobody says on March 7th, our government put out a trip advisory warning to Americans in Russia not to go at any concerts or places with large gatherings of people. Then an attack happened, killing close to 200 people in a concert. Within one hour of the attack, our government came out and said there was no Ukrainian involvement and this was ISIS. All right, let me stop him there because he's already gotten about four things wrong. One, the government, the U.S. government, as well as other governments, did put out a warning saying be careful in Russia around large crowds because there was some imminent danger and perhaps some uh, plans that were going on there. And if you want to have a conspiracy about that, have a conspiracy about why Russia was quite obviously aware of the very same intelligence or at least some similar intelligence, and yet Russia still had this attack occur on their soil. That's the big question mark. Anyhow. Within one hour of the attack, our government came out and said there was no Ukrainian involvement and this was ISIS. Before there was an actual investigation and after the perpetrators were heading into Ukraine before they got caught and they admitted they were paid to do so. ISIS members normally die by suicide. And since they're so religious, they would not have attacked on the month of Ramadan. Oh, my God. What I love about these things is they're so full of just absolute falsities. The, let me start with that. Since they're so religious, ISIS members, they would not have attacked on the month of Ramadan. This is a person who doesn't know anything about ISIS. ISIS encourages increased violence on Ramadan every single year. If you knew anything about ISIS, you would know that that was an obvious thing that happens with ISIS, right? The perpetrators also, the idea that they were headed to Ukraine is absolutely silly. Uh, the people who are leaving this were just trying to get out of Moscow as fast as they possibly could. And many of them probably knew that they would get caught. Um, they attacked this, this concert venue in Moscow and they killed a whole boatload of people. And very shortly after, ISIS made it public that they were responsible for this. And very shortly after that, when Russia said, I don't know, might have been Ukraine, just like nobody says. Then ISIS goes, oh, here's some, some body cam footage of us doing this horrific attack. And then when they said, oh, I don't know, still Ukraine was behind this somehow. Then uh, ISIS said, here's even more footage of us being the perpetrators behind this and planning this and plotting this. But Russia sees an opportunity with a horrific attack on their country to blame the Ukrainians for this. Why? So that they can justify increased attacks on Ukraine and sovereign Ukrainian territory that they want to take over. Why does Russia want to take over that territory? Because they fear that NATO is encroaching on them and they really fear that Ukraine will be included in NATO. And that will be a territorial issue for the Russian government. So they're lying and making all this stuff up, and you happen to be a dupe, just dumb enough to fall for this stuff. Russian propaganda. Uh, it's, that's, it's like so obviously in this case, the Russians are utilizing a tragedy. And it's a thing that many governments do. You know, they say, like, never let a, a good tragedy go to waste. I think it's a Hillary Clinton um, comment. I think it's a her quote, but it could have been somebody else, uh, maybe somebody in her cabinet or some other politician. This is a thing that they they do. Every time something bad happens, like 9-11, all right? 9-11 happens in the United States of America. How many of you were all of a sudden going, wait, hold on, how do we get to Iraq? <laughs> what, what, what happened here? All of a sudden, we're over in Iraq, and we're in front of the United Nations saying, no, I swear, there's weapons of mass destruction in all these bunkers here in Baghdad. How'd that go, huh? How much did we find there? This, you're falling for Russian propaganda, as are a bunch of people on the far right and a bunch of people on the far left. Again, back to the horseshoe theory side of things. And in the middle, uh, we're like, what's happening? What in happened? the middle, I think people have lost touch with what's going on in Ukraine. It's uh, exhausting. Like, the normie people, I think, are just not paying attention too much to what's happening in Ukraine. 
And I don't blame them for that. It's like a stalemate. There's nothing really going on that much. There's been increased targeting of Ukrainian leadership from the Russians, and there's been a lot of drone attacks and stuff. But otherwise, it's been kind of just the same thing over and over yeah, and over. Yeah, it's like a seesaw. One, one city gets reclaimed, one city gets taken. Yeah, and unfortunately, the poor people caught in between this aren't getting any kind of uh, um, you know grace, and, and no savior is coming their way to stop this anytime soon, which absolutely sucks for them. Um, all right, let's talk about how Easter is going to be very, very different this year, and I want to tell you why. This is crazy to me. Take a look at this from Quartz. They say cocoa prices are soaring and creating Easter chaos for candy companies. And they have a little graphic here. Let me see if I can find the graphic. Goddamn um, Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka is uh, in big trouble at the moment. Here's that stupid experience. <laughs> Spot cocoa prices. They were in April of 2022. You can see on this graph in front of me if you're watching on YouTube and Twitch. They were around $2,200 to $2,300 per metric ton of cocoa. Now it's like $10,000. It's five times more expensive Yikes! Wow. to get the cocoa right now. And, of course, we've got Easter on the horizon. All these companies, they probably put their cocoa purchases in before this. But for months now, they've been twice to maybe three times as much as they were previously. And that costs more for all the candy. And then that costs more for all the stuff. Yeah, but end I, up I'm, cur- I'm curious uh, the amount of time from, you know, this big vat of powdered cocoa to a Reese's peanut butter cup. Right. I would guess you know, a so, long time. So and I, how long does that last after, I mean, they've already created their product. Obviously, that's going uh, to the first first come first serve when it comes mm-hmm. to Easter. But, but what I was getting does that at was mean that in six months we're going to have bad cocoa. Maybe, or it would be much more expensive. Or just uh, I, I, my, what, what, my point was like maybe this is not going to affect this Easter's candy, but maybe Christmas candy or next Easter's candy. It depends on how long that stuff lasts. Yeah. Like if if you look at. Um, like, if you try to track something like bread costs, like sliced bread, from wheat to a slice of bread, you're just talking about, like, from seed to a slice of bread, you're talking about a while. So if something becomes more expensive in the process, it takes a while for you to realize that extra expenditure. Something like um, like eggs, like poultry eggs, that would be easier to see a quicker increase because they have the eggs frequently. They scoop them up frequently. They don't last that long. You get them very quickly overall, and the price goes up slower. Look at this. I can't believe they have graphs for this. This is so crazy to me. The cost of chocolate chip cookies in the United States of America. <laughs> in the 1980s, it wait, was... Wait, they started measuring this in the 80s? I guess so. It was like a dollar uh, or so, a little over a dollar for a pound of chocolate chip cookies in the United States. What? Now we're at about four times that or around 550 ish per pound of chocolate chip cookies because the cocoa is through the roof right now. We can't mm. keep it under control. I blame big cocoa. Yeah, well, where are you at, Hershey? Where are you I don't at? Know what time it is. And is is cocoa? But we could, oh, we could even this out if we just take two chocolate chips out of each cookie. No. Yeah. How dare you? It's going to okay. ruin it. Exactly. Yeah. It's going to ruin it. Yeah, it's you you won't even know. It's already happening to you. Uh, no, I'll know. I'll know because now I've been spoiled with some of the cookies I've had uh, as of late. Ew. I, I've never been a sweets guy. I tell you guys, not drinking during the week. I'm crazy sweets guy McGee these days. Yeah. That's what they be calling me. Crazy sweets guy McGee. Who's they? Uh, there's uh, hordes. Hordes <laughs> of people. Hey, crazy sweets saying, guy over there. What here up, he comes. Dude? It's crazy sweets guy McGee. Of it's, Hershey Kisses? Uh, it, it's getting bad, okay? It's I getting really bad. I um, I mean, I'll have it every once in a while. I've not, I, I think all of my time in the ice cream industry, mm-hmm. in high school and early college, I had, like, kind of screwed up my sweet tooth. But every yeah. once in a while, I'm like, I need it now, and I need it for this five-minute span, and I'll be done for a couple weeks. Yeah. And I just got me some little drumsticks. Ever seen Wait, those? what? Oh, are those the ones like you used to get at the ice cream truck but with they're, uh, they're a hand the size of yes. hand. Yeah, they're tiny. Love and I those. unhinged my jaw and just went to town. Why did you have to unhinge your jaw if they're little? Uh, she's yeah, because I swallowed it whole. She wanted to get all of them at the same time. I, I got, they, they have, you know, face effed by that little <laughs> drum. They, they have those at um, 
uh, what's it called? Trader Joe's. And right. they're the little mini versions You're of so those. You're so vested in Trader Joe's, man. It's wild. I, I'm not vested in them, yeah, but they right. have them. They have them where there are two of them for 100 calories. And they're the two little, like, maybe two inch or three inch tall drumstick ice cream guys. And you pop two of those suckers down. It's only 100 calories. And you'll feel quite as bad. I'm getting into it, man. I'm I'm liking Let's it right go, now. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Yeah, I'm crazy, sweet guy McGee, and I'm I'm proud of it. I'm happy to be here, and Thank I you couldn't for your be more thrilled. Sean. I just wanted to put it out there. Okay, quick break. Oh, when we come man. back, yeah. <laughs> suck my whoa, whoa. <laughs> low drum, <laughs> low drum. Breaks hit the bricks. <laughs> uh, quick break. When we come back, Diddy. Speaking of that, Diddy is in the news. Seems so like he did. Sabrina had mentioned that there was some video footage. We'll show it to everybody who's going to pop over on the this, this stream, and we'll put it on See It Now for everybody else. And we got to go over this. Is this guy going to go to prison? What do they got on him? What's happening? What's the latest? It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is on threads at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network, presented by DraftKings Fantasy. Plenty of contenders are still left in March Madness with a Sweet 16 set to roll tomorrow in Boston and Los Angeles. UCF guard DeMar Langford Jr. is entering the transfer portal after he averaged less than two points a game this past season. And to the NBA where the magical host Golden State later tonight, Orlando trying to rebound from their weekend loss to Sacramento, which ended their five-game winning streak. I'm Scott Davidson. Check out what DraftKings has to offer this season with Code Sports because life's more fun when you're in on the action. DraftKings, the crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Age and eligibility restrictions apply. Void or prohibited? See DraftKings.com for details. Homeowners, are you ready to love your home again? Install Brick Paver can build eye-catching walkways, patios, or driveways. They can build custom fire pits for relaxing with your family. They even build outdoor kitchens and build retaining walls. Everything you need to create a perfect outdoor paradise. Install Brick Paver can do it with spectacular results. Go to InstallBrickPaver.com to see our amazing home makeovers. You can also get a free no-obligation quote for your outdoor project. Call for free information now. 407-337-4040. Call 407 407- 337 4040. Install Brick Paver is a family owned and operated company with over 20 years experience and fantastic Google reviews. We are Orlando's finest family owned paving experts. Fire pits, pool decks, paver driveways, patios, and hardscaping. Install Brick Paver does it all. Call for your free estimate now. Get in early before our spring schedule gets booked. Call 407 337 4040. That's 407 337 4040. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Orlando's top-rated comedy club and restaurant is celebrating, becoming the Funny Bone. Formerly the Improv Comedy Club, the Funny Bone guarantees the same great talent and awesome live comedy experience with a new name at Point Orlando. This week, the Funny Bone welcomes Shay Dorina on March 29th and 30th. Your mom's so old. You're going to have to make a tough decision soon. Followed by Matt McCusker on April 5th and 6th. Check out our star-studded calendar and showtimes online at orlando.funnybone.com. Home to the best comedic talent on tour nationally. Come get funny at the Funny Bone. Hey, everybody. Jim Colbert here for my friends over at Life Imaging FLA. Let's spread the word this month and save some lives with proactive health care. We do that with Life Imaging FLA's free heart scan. I go personally try to get 50 friends and family over there. Started with my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, and here's why. The testimonials coming out are simply 
amazing. People's lives are being saved, and it's a simple approach to proactive health care. Don't wait till there's a problem. Learn beforehand. You can do that with this scan, and then take that information to your primary care doctor and build that life plan. There are no dyes with this test. There are no injections. You don't have to take off your clothes. It only takes a few minutes. Take control and call Life Imaging FLA today. Get that free heart scan again. Just a few minimum requirements, and it is a $699 value. Pick up your cell phone, dial pound 250, and say the keyword free heart scan. That's it. Pound 250, say the keyword free heart scan. You'll be connected in seconds. Make that call today. Make 2024 the year you take care of your long-term health care. You'll have the option to receive a one-time auto dial text message from my heart media. Did you know your life insurance is an asset you can sell? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. For almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. And at abacuspays.com, we've created a free policy value calculator so you can find out the worth of your policy in just seconds. There are no fees and no obligations. Get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Learn more at abacuspays.com. Victim of a slip and fall? It takes one phone call to take back control of your life. Anajar and Levine will fight to get you the compensation you deserve. Call me, Mark Anajar, for a free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. In Office Orlando. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you right now. Like Lost 80s. Just search Lost 80s and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio. Free, never sounded so good. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. Tax Talk with Straight Talk. You give and you give. This tax season, you get with Straight Talk Wireless. You get a reliable 5G network and unlimited data and a Samsung Galaxy A14 included when you buy an extended silver unlimited plan. So you can give your janky phone to your kid. Switch to Straight Talk. Find us at Walmart and straighttalk.com. For network management practices, visit straighttalk.com. Device offer ends 41424. Taxes and fees apply. Direct auto insurance is for uncompromisers. With a super low down payment, you can stop compromising and keep driving. Get a free quote at directauto.com. Down payments vary does not mean savings. How you buy can affect price. National General Group, Winston-Salem. You're listening to Real Radio 104.1. Online at realradio.fm. On your phone with the free iHeartRadio app. And on hundreds of devices like Alexa, Google Home, Xbox, and Sonos. We are an iHeartRadio station. Real Radio. 104.1. If it's important to you, it's on and probably being mocked by. For you radio nerds out there, there's got to be at least tens of you who are listening to the show right now. I guess I haven't seen this yet. I I might check it out at some point, though. There's a new documentary about Phil Hendry out there um, because Phil Hendry was he was this radio host that a lot of people. Yeah, where you? Yeah, I figured Fritz. That seemed like kind of down your alley. Um, And a lot of people in Hollywood, big fans of Phil Hendry, because it's a totally different thing. Like Phil Hendry's version of talk radio would be about trolling, fishing, and so he would come up with this topic for the day and then we have a character that was him he would be talking in the microphone and then switch over to him on the phone he'd be talking back and forth to himself and he would create up or create such an elaborate crazy situation with the caller on the line that other callers not knowing that this was a bit would get incensed and they would call him and they'd be like how could this person think this and then he'd have a conversation with himself the straight guy the caller that he was pretending to be and the caller that had dialed in falling victim to this, this prank that was going on. How did you manage that? I don't know. Insanity. 
like everything was seamless about it too. And and what was funny, like looking back on it, like I didn't know I was I think ten years old the first time I I, I had heard him. Looking mm-hmm. back on it, if someone was that called in was getting on his nerve, he would have his character be like, "Oh, shut up, you you know, like vomit brain. You don't know what you're talking about." And then he would go, "Hey, whoa, hold on, we can't insult yeah. our guests." Which yeah, of course would piss off guy. the caller. Has there never been a picture of like his setup? Yes, yeah, there, there is. is. There, yeah. uh, there's video of it too. I think. I think for a while he had like a uh, uh, a membership to his website where you could watch videos of him doing his thing. When I first heard him and I realized what was going on, I thought for sure that he sat behind a console and he had a button that switched between his raw microphone and then just changed the microphone into phone call mode. And I was hella wrong because he uh-huh. sat in front of that microphone and he had a wired handset phone in his he hand. It. And he would go, microphone, phone, microphone, wow. phone. And, and the it was, other microphone didn't pick it up? No, it was no. it was uh it was really, really well done. Wow. I don't I don't Shout know out if he to had the producer whose name we do not know. <laughs> True. I don't know if we if he had like a switch back and forth or what. Um let me see. Is this what does this show it? All right. The closest you can give me to a guy who's cheering too much. I just told you. You know, well, that's not very clear. All right. Hey, look, for instance, if a guy goes, yeah, like that, that's cool. But if a guy goes like this, ah, that right there is a situation that I've got to look at because, first of all, I mean. He goes back and forth, like, seamlessly <sighs> also, between the Also, what's his day-to-day life like? He's he's a, if you do something like that on the air. Uh-huh. That means you go home and you're still talking to yourself a little bit. He's he's big into uh, Hollywood now. He was on Modern Family, uh, mm-hmm. playing himself. He has been in many, 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 many different uh, animated features. Yeah, he was also in Team America: World Police. Yeah, he was intelligence. Was he yep. really? Uh, so he's, he, he we found got that was bad that. intelligence. <laughs> bad intelligence. <laughs> he is a creative guy, and he never really like took off in a huge way in radio. He was always. He had some regional syndication and stuff going on, but he was a. Uh, used to run him on the station. Yep. Did really overnight? Was he? Mm-hmm. Uh, if you liked him, you knew that it was something special that you were getting into. And there's a documentary about him and his career out now. Uh, I wasn't hugely influenced by him. Obviously, that's not the same thing that I do. But I hear there's a lot of Neil Rogers in it because he also was a huge fan of Neil Rogers um, out of Miami and. When you trace it back, it's like that dude that so many people, so many normies have no idea who the hell that is or what that name means. Um, he is one of those people who influenced so many radio hosts to be radio hosts mm-hmm. and was just Mine doing was a footy. whole different thing. Like, footy, Kenny and Footy, back in the day, Kenny and Footy on Y100. Uh, that was which what one? we listened to on the way to school. That's the only person I remember. That and uh, who was on the rock station. They have a sandwich. I, oh, um, you're talking about uh, Paul Castronova, yeah, probably. Yeah. Rick yeah. and Paul or something about Yeah, Paul, Paul and, young and Young Ron. Ron. Oh. They, were, they were big back in the day. Yeah. All, day, all Day Yucker says their favorite Hendry character was Ted's from uh, Ted Steakhouse in Beverly Hills. Also mm-hmm. mine. That was a hilarious character because he kept uh, making Phil play his jingle, Ted's from Beverly Hills, we want to put our meat in your mouth. Oh, uh, it, well. he would, and he would also do like, if he, if he picked a character... He would also do sound effects. So if he was like some angry lady who was like, I'm in my hot tub right now, there'd be bubble sound effects. And, and be he like, would do it or he had a bunch of people who never got the credit for I think moving he, that fast. It, just because of the layers, he must have had some help. But he didn't have anybody else on the show that you heard as far as I'm aware. Maybe it was, just, yeah, it was fascinating. It was just him. Yeah, I mean, but it could have been that there was somebody like, for instance, Rush Limbaugh, had uh, a guy named Bo Snerdly behind the scenes for a big, giant chunk of his career. And nobody even knew much about Bo Snerdly until Rush Limbaugh died. And then Bo Snerdly was like doing a podcast about Snerd the best dog. of Bo, Bo Snerdly. He was a big, giant black dude who was uh, the producer for the Rush Limbaugh show for like decades, I believe. Um, and th- these folks didn't get a lot of attention, I don't think. Uh, all right, let's see here. We got a little bit of time, so let's do it double time. Let's do jury duty. Court is now in session. So put your phone down and pay attention. Before we call the bailiff over to whip your ass, you're now on jury duty with the news junkie. Jury duty brought to you by the one, the only, Mo DeWitt of the DeWitt Law Firm. Injured on the go? Just call Mo. 866-CALL-MO, 866-CALL-MO, or go to justcallmo.com. 
We're going to hold over the Diddy stuff because that's got a little more bite to it. And a lot we of can Benjamins, all baby. put our uh, opinions in on that. But I do have an update on the Riley Strain story where he was found dead in Nashville in the river finally after almost two weeks or about two weeks. The 911 call coming in showed that the person who found his body was, I guess, aware that it was Riley Strain when he found the body. Let's uh, listen in. And what happened? Uh, uh, my company works on the river. I have just found a uh, dead body. I believe it to be Riley. Okay. And you said you guys found a dead body? Yes, ma'am, in the river. He said he found a dead body in the river. He believes it to be Riley, as in Riley Strain, and they're still saying from all of the initial autopsy, autopsy stuff that uh, it looks like this was just some accident. We're still hearing from you. Let us know what you think about the Baltimore Bridge collapse. Go to thenewsjunkie.com slash poll to weigh in it's over dynamite there. dynamite in four places, Sean. That's, that's what, look at the black smoke billowing up. That shows you that something was happening here. It all happens very, very quickly after you know, these incidents. You know what's crazy, too? That that uh, barge, they said, was like, uh, yeah, I mean, they didn't say this, but it was hauling ass, and it was going mm-hmm. nine miles per hour, which is, like, pretty slow. <laughs> but it was 100,000 tons or, you know, whatever, yeah. and it was 900 feet long. Like, that's just, like, that's impossible when you think about it. It just yeah, hits so this massive. one support. And the bridges just weren't built to deal no. with anything near this size. No way. And, and everybody's like, well, what about the tow uh, boats? Why don't the, the tugboats come out there? And do, Well, they didn't have enough time, I guess, to, to get them out there to do any of this. There are no more accidents anymore, though. We digest things in terms of who can I blame for this? What's the crazy conspiracy? We cannot trust any sort of official outlet to give us any real news. It's all some kind of conspiracy. That's what you'll see. You'll keep seeing that over and over until people keep challenging folks on it. Don't just ask questions. Challenge them on what they're saying. Don't let them just ask questions, I should say. All right, we'll get to the Diddy stuff next. There's also a brand new rule that's changing things in the NFL that some of you may have seen. That is coming up next on the News Junkie. Sick. Do you do words good? Prove it. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. There's a whole bunch of commotion due to accidents all throughout the area. Travel with caution. Semarin Boulevard westbound at Colonial Drive. Two left lanes are blocked. On State Road 408 westbound at Crystal Lake Drive, the left lane is blocked. All lanes are blocked on Colonial Drive westbound before Hancock Road, and authorities are working on that accident on Orange Blossom Trail southbound at Maitland Boulevard. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Incident Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477 from the Traffic Center. I'm James Berman. Him. This report is sponsored by HCA Florida Healthcare. Sharp stomach pain? Advice is here. Consult a nurse. Answers, advice around the clock. Consult a nurse. HCA Florida Healthcare. We show up for you. Call 844 70 Nurse. It's free. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. Carl Black Chevrolet wants to send you and a friend on a road to Nashville for a fun-filled weekend and tickets for two to see outlaw country singer Cody Jenks on April the 27th at Ascend Amphitheater. Log on to RealRadio.fm slash contest and register for your chance to win two lawn seats in the Carl Black Chevy Silverado. Carl Black will provide you with round-trip airfare for two from Orlando to Nashville. Plus, you get $200 in spending cash right in your pocket. They're going to spring for two nights in deluxe hotel room accommodations in the Omni Hotel in Nashville. So, log on to realradio.fm slash contest and register for your chance to win a pair of lawn seats, tickets to see Cody Jenks in Nashville, plus you get cash and you also get the deluxe hotel accommodations in Nashville. It's Carl Black, Chevrolet, Beauty and GMC, East Colonial Drive, one block west of Alafaya. Online, go to carlblackorlando.com. Chevrolet, together, let's drive. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. 
so am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Tax time means a much-needed cash bonus for many people. But for business owners, it can mean the opposite. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill, Mitsubishi and Deland. My accountant said I need to reduce my tax burden now, so I'm going to overpay for your old car because I'd rather give you the money than the government. Get up to $4,297 more for your old car than it's actually worth. No matter where you bought the car, no matter how many miles are on it. It's simple. Trade in your old car you hate driving and get a new car today like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. That means most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. RC Hill Mitsubishi specializes in approving customers with below average credit scores. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. This month, my prices will not be beat. This sale ends when my accountant says enough is enough. I'm RC Hill at RC Hill Mitsubishi, Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, Deland and now in Ocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. See rchill.com for details. With new doors by Renewal by Amazon. Anderson, you can cut back on energy usage, boost your home's curb appeal, and increase your comfort. Renewal by Anderson makes that transition easy for you thanks to a selection of beautiful, functional replacement doors that are as beautiful as they are convenient. I love pretty French patio doors, but in so many cases, they seem flimsy and over time can warp, not to mention the security concerns that can come with them. Renewal by Anderson is better because every patio door is built with their exclusive Fibrex material, which is two times stronger than vinyl and features a five-point locking system, which improves energy efficiency and, better yet, an increased level of security. Renewal by Anderson has a great offer to help you get started during the month of March. Buy one window and or patio door and get one 40% off. Plus, no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com. Some restrictions apply. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. License number CGC1527613. It's spring. Time to gather your friends and family and fire up the grill with some Kingsford charcoal because everything tastes better cooked on the grill. Whether it's a casual get-together or a special occasion, Kingsford Original will give your food that authentic, wood-fired barbecue flavor everyone craves. Mm, that's so good. Because it's not spring until you've thrown some burgers on the grill with Kingsford Original Charcoal, America's grilling expert. Kingsford.com. To thank you for 40 unforgettable years, Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's dell.com slash deals. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com.
Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because clients and character matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1, Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. They're best friends. Unless they're fighting. Are they fighting? To JBCKSC. And Haji the Hobo, the latest two Secret Show subscribers, appreciate you. You can learn more and go uncensored. Hobos can afford a lot these days. They they got got smartphones. They got all the good stuff. Uh, I was at the the local liquor store, speaking of hobos, and uh, we heard one of the ladies behind the counter talking about how there's a local guy who... It's just like, you know, he's all over the place around here, and he, he drinks a lot. And it's and not Sweets McGee. It's not It's not uh, uh, Sweets, Crazy Sweets McGee. That's it's it. not him. Did they say, where have you been when you walked into the local <laughs> liquor store? <laughs> They've seen me before. They know what no, I'm No, I know. To. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, it's, but this guy goes more, I guess. They said he comes three times a day to this liquor store. Ooh. Okay. And each time he gets one of those, like, uh, little flask size bottles. I don't know how big those are, but mm. you know, like little handheld size bottles yeah. of, of vodka, sort of nondescript, and it like maybe even it says vodka on it or whatever. And he gets three of those every single day and plows them. And I'm like, damn. When that he seems goes like a lot. straight vodka for that uh-huh. amount, yeah, I feel like there's so much more to it. It's just I feel like it's just doing a number on your whole system. You're piping. You know what I mean? Like. It's just not very good. Speaking um, of your local liquor store, uh-huh. I did something yesterday, I think it was, that uh, I thought was going to be an absolute disaster, mm-hmm. but I think somebody's listening to us. Uh-oh. I think somebody has heard our complaints about the Burger King. Uh-huh. Oh, really? Because I went to that son of a bitch, and I was there like a minute and a half Got my breakfast and got out of there, and I was like, "My gosh, you rule! What happened here? They did yeah. say you rule." Also, did they really? yeah, nice. yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. When, I, when I pulled up to the drive-through, it was like, "Welcome to Burger King. You rule. What can I get you?" And I was like, "Okay, thank you for that, but I'll just have this and this and this." They're like, "All right, second window, out of there." I couldn't believe it. I was sure, hundred percent sure that I was going to regret my actions by going to that Burger King. Did and there they, happen to be like a dozen police cars in the parking no, lot? No, no, huh? no. Okay. But there did seem to at least be more than one person working there. Yeah, that Burger King seemed a little fronty. You know oh. what I mean? Like a little like. I mean, how does nobody care that this giant operation from a big company is not doing any work over here? Not really operating. Oh, mm-hmm. that's uh, the franchisees, the uh, the foundation of America uh, yeah. after a certain amount of time. Well, hey, that mortgage uh, mortgage guy Don can get us in on these franchises. You said, you know, what we need oh, to yeah. get. What do we got? You know, oh a my mattress god! Mattress giant. No, no, that's uh, it feels like a, talk about uh, a front. Too big of a business. I don't want to do that. A lot of over this. Here. I think this will be good. You guys, tell me if you're on board. Can we even do that? I don't even know if we can do this. Can we get our own Cracker Barrel? I'm oh. not doing that, dude. I'm out. Why? I'm in. The four of us get our own Cracker Barrel. No, three now. Like, she's out. I want that. Cut. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Cut her out. laughs> Why are you out on Cracker Barrel? Why wouldn't you want to be in our franchise? We've got rocking chairs. They yeah. literally have, you have to find the perfect spot for it. And when mm-hmm. you find that perfect spot, there's a Cracker Barrel there already. You think so? You think they got yes, all the territory man. staked out? Yeah, man. I, I, I got to <laughs> tell you, I don't think it's a good business move. Wow. They usually do well. But- it's like a Chick-fil-A. You open up a Chick-fil-A and it just works. Yeah, man. people will drive so, an hour out of the way to, just to go to that And Chick-fil-A. as far as like the little, you know, past discrepancies with the gays not oh, stopping God. you, you just say so two of them. Sore, so sore about this. Just eat your chicken sandwich, for God's sake. Ooh. Just enjoy yourself. Oh, okay. 
That was a w- one way to put it, Sean. They Jesus don't hate Christ, the gays man. anymore. <laughs> Chick-fil-A is way past the gay hating. They've moved yeah, on. Yeah, no, they threw out some free stuff at the Pride Parade. We're good. <laughs> yeah, they're good now. Uh, they, the, those folks don't work <laughs> so, there so anymore. Work. The people who hate the gays have moved on from Chick-fil-A. Now they're just about the cow marketing or whatever is their next big thing. That's what they do over there. But I think you're going to have to ask mortgage guy Don about this. I think it's super expensive to open like one of those big chains. You know what I mean? Like to open a McDonald's is, is not cheap. I know that Chick-fil-A I would have to guess is like in that window of just like crazy, (laughs) crazy expensive to get yours going. Chick-fil-A has a franchise fee of $10,000. Which mm-hmm. is the lowest of any major fast food brand. However, what does that do for you? It just gives you the franchise fee. The uh-huh. total cost to open a Chick Fil A franchise can range from three hundred thousand to two point four five million dollars. What? what? Okay, that's a big difference oh, right there. Do they have the stats on the return? Uh, I mean, it doesn't say right here. Guaranteed this is just... six day work week. Yep, you. Everybody's guaranteed six day work week because they don't. They're not open on Sunday, so at least you know six days or six days at the most. I guess I should phrase it. But do you think Chick Fil A has more employees than a lot of the competitors? Like, does, do they have more people working at a Chick Fil A than they have working at a McDonald's? Couldn't tell you. I really couldn't. Because they got the people outside, but I guess that's just the same as having somebody inside working the drive through. I don't know. I, all I know is we got to open one of these places because we could just be swimming in the the money. Or we could open a place from my childhood that I've told you guys about before, but I'm sure you forgot. Uh, Johnny Appleseeds. We used to go to Johnny Appleseeds. I think everyone forgot about that. What is Johnny Uh, Appleseeds? It was one of those places. I think it was a one-off, but maybe there's more. I might be wrong about this. And it was strategically placed right along the interstate for when you're going... Nor up the east coast of the United States of America. It was like one, like kind of like a um, south of the border kind of place, okay. but not not as flashy. It was just like, hey, Johnny Appleseeds is coming up here, and they had like a big Johnny Appleseed outside with uh, what are those things called where you have a stick and then like your satchel. little uh, yeah your little satchel of of stuff on it when you're like mm. a little a bindle uh, tramp on the move a bindle. Yes, you got your bindle with all your stuff in it, and we used yeah, to go to that Fritz Johnny Appleseed. about being a tramp. Yeah. I know oh, all the hobo talk. That's the life right there. Uh, Al Burrito says, Sean clearly knows nothing about food services. What am I getting wrong? I, I, that a Cracker Barrel is a great investment idea? I, it seems like they do well to me unless all the uh, the territory is gobbled up, uh, they which don't, could be the case. They don't actually franchise, though, so we couldn't open our own Cracker Barrel. They don't? Are you kidding me? No. Uh, we need to do CR Chicks Plan then because... B. If we introduce CR Chicks to the world, it will blow some ever-loving minds. I think I told it's... you guys, the a uh, friend of mine from high school, like, we had a bunch uh-huh. of classes together. I saw he posted, he opened up Miami Subs here yep. in uh, Orlando. And I was like, oh, my God, a little bit of home right here. I hope they have the same fries from when I remember when I was 12 years old. The, and they're, now they're Miami Grill, right? Miami Grill, right. Miami Grill, but same exact colors, same... Um, very retro, very like... Yes. Do you know that because you saw it on the way to the deal store, Sean? Yeah, we <laughs> saw the Miami Grill, and we were uh, we were getting into whether or not it was associated with Miami Subs, and Courtney has no experience whatsoever with Miami Subs. Oh, she, was, she is not familiar, and she goes, so you're telling me they got like subs, hot dogs... Arthur Treacher's fish and chips in in euros, and yeah. I know, it's like an eclectic mix of weird things. But for some reason, it worked back then, until it didn't, you know. And uh, then they like changed the the place up. But yeah, it's still around. They're still doing things. Uh, all right, let's talk about Diddy for a moment or two here, because Diddy is in the news a lot, and things don't look great. And as Sabrina mentioned earlier on the show, he released some footage of his house after he was raided. And I don't know which one this is, but this is one of his houses because L.A. was raided and Miami was raided. Uh And the cops left this place a mess. Look at this inside this place. Like, there's crap everywhere all over the ground. But that's usually how you see it, right? I know. I feel like you don't often see lawsuits that follow that. Doesn't that suck, though? Like, if you were totally innocent? Absolutely. If you're innocent and they just throw all your crap around. But are you totally they, innocent if they're going to do that whole raid? That just because they did it doesn't mean he's guilty. Yeah, but remember that newspaper I'm playing that devil's they... advocate. I understand. Yeah. Look, they're in the safe. They're looking at his safe here. 
How'd they get this? Um, they must have. Is that part of a warrant to get the same code? The, the warrant has to, according to conversations we've had with Moses, it has to be pretty particular about what the target is. So what, what they're looking for. I know that one thing they were looking for was digital items and stuff on uh, computers or hard drives. But it looks just based on how everything's tossed around, like a, a pretty general search of the place. I like wouldn't every drawer is open. some of the stuff in here to be nicer. Like that, so? like that desk wasn't very impressive. In Diddy's house? It's probably because he has so many rooms in his house that like, some like, of them are uh, Was, was that junk. his assistant's assistant's desk? Uh, maybe. Look, he's got a barber shop in there. Did you see that? I missed Just it. out of the frame, there's a barber shop in this room right over here. Mind you, the man was getting his hair cut and showed that on his private jet shortly before the feds raid, like, did the raid on his house. Is he a billionaire, you think? He's pretty mm, close. No. Like, to me, to me, Diddy does not have as much money as Jay Z, and I could be wrong about that, but I just don't picture him oh, on the yeah. same level. Twenty twenty two, Forbes estimated his net worth at one billion, but even hmm. in two thousand two, Fortune magazine had listed Combs uh, number twelve of their top forty entrepreneurs under forty. All right, so he's got a lot of money. Is the bottom mm-hmm. line? Like we don't know exactly how yeah. much. Then but... people also ask, how is P Diddy so rich? Yeah, I mean, he, he's he been in the music industry for a long time. He's been involved in this stuff at the highest of levels. I don't even know the groups he's involved in now, but I would, I would guess he's, he's still signing acts and doing his thing out there. But they believe he's involved in some sort of sex trafficking, and now it's chaos. They're talking about this young drug dealer that he's hanging out with that I guess has been possibly arrested uh, his son has been sort of central in all of this. Mm-hmm. Um, this has just been a, a lot of, so far, just a lot of smoke. We don't know what's going on or whether or not they're going to hang him on this. But the conspiracy people uh, right now that are talking about Diddy yeah. are saying that uh, he had an underground tunnel. That's how oh. he escaped. Okay, all right. Was underground tunnel. <laughs> I think partly is because they say that one of the features of his L.A. mansion yeah, I think L.A., not Miami, was that there was an underwater tunnel, like, Just somewhere. hold your breath the whole time as you try to escape? Or maybe yeah. something that exists underneath the pool that has, like, like you know, like you're at SeaWorld. Uh, okay. Oh, like a tube you would go through? Yeah. I don't know. It just it says underwater tunnel. But they have taken that and changed it to underground tunnel and saying that, 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 look, that's how he escaped. Yeah, this is, but this, again, go, to go back to horseshoe theory on the show, again, the far left and the far right meeting on things, the far right right is absolutely obsessed with sex trafficking in this country, as is the far left. They both think this in very different ways. The far right believes that there's this Hollywood industrial complex of celebrities that are engaging in sex trafficking on a widespread scale and it's being covered up because of the power of the Illuminati or whatever, right? And then, you know, they're they're into all this stuff with young people and sex trafficking. The far left thinks that there's scary, spoopy, spoopy, spooky, spooky, spooky guys all over the place just popping out of the woods and kidnapping women and putting them into this sex trafficking industry, and off they go. And of course, there's like valid concerns there, but when you get a story like Diddy in the middle of this, you're going to get the internet as a whole because the internet is a world of extremes extremes yeah. on the left and extremes on the right. You're going to get them both inflamed on this. And now you've got to try to control this. And his lawyers are just now going, well, hey, don't rush to judgment. He didn't do anything. This was a miscarriage of justice already. They said there was like a military like response to Diddy's homes, which. I mean, kind of they look a little militaristic, right? They got the dudes in camo and on the boats and stuff and rolling up Miami on them. loves this stuff. Trust me. Yeah. Oh, my God. And the media loves it, and the media falls for it. Did you see the young guy who pulled up in the neighborhood in L.A.? Mm-hmm. Young dude. He's in his car with his buddy. They pull up near Diddy's home when this raid's going on, and they go, I knew it. I knew it all along. And the media and these, these news outlets, TMZ, everybody, they, they kind of run over. And they go, what, what do you know? And he's, well, I'm just a neighbor around here. Did he used to have truckloads of women, young women in truckloads being delivered to his house in the middle of the night? And it was nonstop partying. There was always women over there, always young girls over there, always all this, this chaos over there. 
And they kept, like, throwing all this drama out, out at the news cameras and anybody else who was gathered nearby. It was just some dude making it up. It was, like, some young, yeah. rich kid in his parents, like, or maybe his Bentley. I don't know. Maybe they're super rich and he's got his own Bentley. Uh, Kalik is the guy's name. And his mom said, that's my kid behind the wheel. He is not Diddy's next door neighbor. Uh, they're trolling. This was not true. They don't live in the area, blah, blah, blah. Um, so my you're, gosh, just like, mom, what a killjoy. <laughs> mom went after the fun. You ruined everything. No, so embarrassing. It ain't happening right now. So what do you think will happen with, with Diddy? Uh, the question is out to everybody. Will he actually end up serving prison time or... Is this some kind of larger attack on him? Uh, because people are now uh, talking about other rappers. In fact, Jay-Z was in the a bunch of stories I saw today, super gossipy stories. Cuba Gooding Jr. Cuba Gooding Jr. as well, like for uh, maybe even potentially having sex with some guy who is one of the accusers of, of P. Diddy. Um, there's just a lot, man, a lot that's going around all at once. And uh, we'll just have to wait and see exactly what happens with this. In the meantime, I do have some more blind items for us today. If you guys would like Ooh. to see what we can see. Does that mean we get to hear the there. brand new blind item sounder? You bet your ass. It does mean that. Radio Michael 7 made that for us in his very own home studio. And we would be wrong, absolutely wrong, to not address these and utilize that. So let's go through a couple blind items. Let's see what we got. Blind item. Maybe we can name these people. This one says, this A-list dual threat actress went dual? full Karen last night after a premiere. That should be easy. Who had a premiere last night? Right? What movie had a premiere that had an A-list actress in it? This A-list dual threat actress, that means she does like another thing. Like maybe she's a singer and an actor or she does something else. Okay, how she, often? Movie premieres, though, are a couple days before the actual release, right? Or is it day off? Yeah, there's somewhere close to it. Somewhere, like, in the neighborhood of when the actual movie opens, depending on some things. But right. it's an A-list dual threat actress went full Karen last night after a premiere. I guess it doesn't have to be her premiere, though, because it simply says a premiere. Mm -hmm. She yelled at her driver for being in the wrong place, and this is probably why people don't like her and why she really matches the character she played in the three-word show. The Hunger Games. Three words show to me okay. was I gotta Big tell Bang you, Theory. I just looked up uh, movies coming out this week, and I don't uh -huh. know what premiere that this Karen would show up to because it's Polar Rescue. Yeah. Uh, the Legend of Lake Hollow. Ugh. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey 2. Okay. Hate to Love, the Nickelback documentary. Really? Didn't know that was out there. Uh, a Cat's Life. Uh, Asphalt City. Bag of Lies, Dog Man. None of those sound like they would bring in an A-list actress. At least Karaoke not to me. is just the one-word title. Ugh. Yeah, so nothing screaming to me, man. Three-word show, though. I mean, there's a lot of three-word television shows that you might know somebody this who would be A-list from. I was talking about this that the other us. day. Yeah, it's true. Somebody this in the comment it. section said Megan Mullally. Megan Mullally was from what? Will and Grace? Parks and Recreation. Parks and Recreation. Yeah, that's barely, true. Barely. She was Tammy. She was, episodes. yeah. She was only in a, a small number of episodes of that show, but she was in it. Uh, one more we'll toss out there. Okay. Blind Idol. This permanent A-list, mostly movie actor, is a multiple Oscar nominee and winner. Over the past few years, he'd be, he has become paranoid that he's being watched by the government. Not just the U.S. government, but other world governments, too. Because of this, he refuses to speak on the phone and doesn't want to be in the room with any phones that are present or at least on. This is an A-list movie actor. Oh, so someone's having an episode. Somebody's a little bit freaking out, spooked by the government uh, and the G-men. Obviously, this makes it difficult to communicate with him. His assistant is called and gets the message. Then they leave their phone in one room, enters a different room to talk to the actor. The assistant gets the answer and goes back into the other room and calls the person back. This can go back and forth forever with this A-list actor. It's especially tough on sets of movies, and everybody has to make sure their phones are locked away at all times. Our actor refuses to do any of the scenes that, the, uh, that involve phones, even if they're completely fake, and also refuses to do any even scenes involving fake? food. <laughs> and yet, even if they're fake. No scenes involving food either because he thinks he might be poisoned by one of these governments that is going after this permanent A-list actor. Who could it be? We'll take your guesses. Go to thenewsjunkie.com and send your dispatch through right now.
Back in just a moment with those dispatches, because we haven't gotten to them, and I tease this thing about a brand new change in the world of the NFL that people have been talking about today. What is it? We'll dive in and let you know if you're not caught up. That's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is on X at Real Radio 1041, sponsored by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. GoldsmithJewelry.com. The left lane is blocked westbound on State Road 408, approaching Crystal Lake Drive. Travel with caution. A serious accident is causing heavy delays on Colonial Drive westbound before Hancock Road. And all lanes are still blocked on Orange Blossom Trail southbound at Maitland Boulevard. The off-ramp from Maitland Boulevard eastbound to Orange Blossom Trail is blocked as well. If you see traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Direct Auto. Direct Auto Insurance is for uncompromisers. With savings of up to 25%, you can stop compromising and keep driving. Get a free quote at directauto.com. Savings based on discounts can vary. How you buy can affect price. National General Group, Winston-Salem. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards. Live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Otesla of Trenolast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. When you call me for an injury case, you don't pay a dime unless we win. The call and the advice are always free. Injured on the go, just call Mo. 866-CALL-MO. Mo DeWitt. Orlando's Injury Attorneys. The number one cause of accidents is distracted driving, like cell phones, eating, and playing with the radio. So leave it right here on Real Radio. Injured on the go? Just call Mo.com. Mo DeWitt, Orlando's Injury Attorney. Join Jim Colbert on the Jim Colbert Show for his Cigar of the Week segment every Friday afternoon at 345. You can pick up these featured cigars at all three Corona Cigar Company locations, Dr. Phillips, Heathrow, and downtown. Learn more at coronacigar.com. $5,000. $5,000. That's the average amount of money people in the U.S. are now spending on gas in a year. Five grand. That's crazy. If you drive, you have to download Upside, the free app that gives you cash back every time you get gas. That's right. You can earn real cash back with Upside just by buying the gas you're already buying. You can literally start earning cash back today. I use Upside every time I fill up, and I've already made around two, $300. You're putting gas in your car anyway. Why not get real cash back? If you like free money, download Upside. I'm saving the cash I earn from using Upside to help pay for a vacation later this year. Download the free Upside app now to earn cash back every time you buy gas. Use promo code COOL to get an extra 25 cents per gallon on your first tank. You can cash out anytime right to your bank, PayPal, or a gift card for Amazon and other brands. Just download the free Upside app and use promo code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus on your first tank. That's code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Don't miss the spectacular spring edition of Harry's Sip and Savor, April 6th, 6.30 p.m. at Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill, located in the Rosen Center Hotel at 9840 International Drive. Enjoy an exclusive pairing event with mixology, culinary arts, spirits, brews, and a dazzling menu available one night only. Seating is limited, so don't delay. Get your tickets now, available at harryspoolside.com slash harry's sip and savor. It's spring. Time to gather your friends and family and fire up the grill with some Kingsford charcoal because everything tastes better cooked on the grill. 
Whether it's a casual get-together or a special occasion, Kingsford Original will give your food that authentic, wood-fired barbecue flavor everyone craves. Mm, wow, this is so good. Because it's not spring until you've thrown some burgers on the grill with Kingsford Original Charcoal, America's grilling expert. Kingsford.com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now, like Lost 80s, playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s. Duran Duran, Huey Lewis, Tina Turner, and more, all commercial-free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Buy a new Nissan today and make no payments till 2025. It's a slam dunk at OrlandoNissan.com. Forever at the crossroads between viral news and total chaos. It says, uh, Dan Schneider talks about the Quiet On Set docuseries. If you're not aware of this, this is the one where they went behind the scenes of these kids shows, a lot of Nickelodeon related stuff, and they said there were some creepy people involved in the production of this. Highly There's all sorts. Yeah, Fritz uh, was the one telling us previously about this, and, and I'll defer to Fritz on this, but I, I want to take this email and, and address it here. It says, Dan Schneider talks about Quiet On The Set, and it links to one of the interviews he did. Do you believe him? I don't know. He knows this guy. I'm sure there are hundreds of interviews where they ask uh, inter interview requests he's received, and he goes with this guy. He seems comfortable enough uh, to make me want to believe him. I just don't know. I'd have to hear from people that work with him now or at least within the last 20 years. I don't know if I should believe Dan Schneider in Quiet on Set. So, uh, girl, no. Here's, here's what I'll tell you my gut tells me uh -huh. about this, okay? My gut tells me about this Quiet on Set docuseries is that there is a true bad guy, obvious bad guy, by the name of Brian Peck. Yeah, I don't but, understand why all of the talk is still Dan Snyder. Uh, yeah, Snyder. And, and a lot of the buzz, a lot of the headlines are about Dan Snyder because they always tend to be. But Brian Peck, like, legitimately seems to be a horrible, terrible guy. And when it comes to Dan Snyder... It looks like maybe he was a weirdo who wanted to put the young girls in like some kind of sexualized situations where stuff was flying all over their face or they were like putting their feet in their mouth or, you know, various whatever things that, that were going on that afterwards look really uncomfortable. But as far as I'm aware, there's not any like physical allegations again against Dan Schneider. Fritz, unless I missed something that no, was that's, coming out that's of this. That's correct. Yeah. It's um, like is Dan I've Schneider. A couple episodes, though. Yeah. There's, but, I think, one more. But but Dan Schneider was done. Uh, no, there's one he, more. He appears to be like oh maybe a, like a weird dude or something. But the Brian Peck guy, who uh, not enough people are saying his name, like that guy's actually a monster. But he was convicted, right? Yeah, I he served time. Was he? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Because it, because it wasn't he even served named. time, and then he got uh, hired on another children's program. Perfect. I love which that. Which is crazy. I think man. the secret life of Zach and Cody. Yeah. Um, Did he really? You, you know what's crazy too? Yeah, remember I called him Jack and Cody, and you, uh, you made fun of me. That's he, right. He uh, Brian Peck has a role in one of my favorite horror mo horror movies of all time, uh, The Return of the Living Dead. Uh -huh. He's Scuzz, and I didn't yeah. know that, and I was like, oh my god, that's Brian Peck. Really? Yeah, so now every time I watch my favorite movie, I'm like, this piece of ass. Oh, my yeah. gosh. There's another. There is another episode coming out April 7th. Can they just wrap this thing up? This has been the most stretched out docuseries. This could have been a, a, a feature film length documentary. Well, we could have got everything the, done. Yeah, but but you don't know. Money? Yeah, you keep them hanging. Maybe the last one is like some big bombshells we haven't even seen yet. Uh, it's Amy just says, such a bizarre position, like watching. I've only watched the mm -hmm. first episode. And this is like this is what I watched. Without a doubt, it was Nickelodeon. All that, mm -hmm. Kenan and Kel. Yeah. Any and then seeing these people as adults and hearing the backstory of it. Kind of weird. And just to know that there's so many people who probably can relate to me where it's almost feels like a dream in the yeah. sense of, wait a second, all the things that I laughed at have this disgusting background to it and dark background to it. 
Yeah, and there's always been these kind of rumors, right? Like, this is not the first time we heard Dan Schneider's name or, like, he's got a foot fetish or X, Y, or Z or whatever. But uh, Amy says, uh, they're both POSs. Dig deeper than just that documentary. Yeah. What, I, what I'm saying is the coverage is there's an outsized focus on Dan Schneider, who the best allegations I've seen, all right, and again, I haven't watched the series, but I've read all the news stories that have spun out from this, or a bunch of them at least, enough so I think I have a decent grasp on what, is at least about or what the juiciest tidbits are. And from what I can tell, there's like this outsized coverage of Dan Schneider and his weirdo stuff. And not nearly as many headlines mentioning Brian Peck, who like definitely is a bad person that people definitely covered up for. And not only that, uh, Brian Peck, who had multiple, I mean, knowable names, write letters uh, in his favor yeah, not even saying I don't believe the things that happened, but saying he made a mistake, and some of them even victim shaming. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Drake Bell. Drake Bell. Yeah, and by the way, to add another layer to this, you can't look at Drake Bell solely as an innocent voice in all of this. Drake Bell has accusations of his own of him being right. a predator and grooming young preteen girl, some girl who's like 12 years old. Well, yes. what, what is a great way to um, excuse that with, you know, quotes around it in an asterisk. It's well, that. yeah, I will say this too, and in no way is this, a, you know, like me condoning it, but a lot of victims will then cyclically, cyclically become the uh, groomer. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. And it's a vicious cycle. It's a vicious cycle. Yeah, but, but then the you big, go, but... The thing with Dan, though, is like the other guy has gotten already convicted of it, mm-hmm. and as far as Dan Schneider goes, it's been one or two Nickelodeon people. Like, this is the most information anyone has gotten since the 90s. Oh, for sure. Not online. Yeah, yeah not online. Like, yeah. There's always been, like, online rumor mill stuff about the Dan Schneider guy. But this is like somebody's putting their name behind it. Mm-hmm. Somebody's actually running these accusations out there. So, yeah, that was my my take on it overall. I just I thought that... There, the guy definitely looks kind of weird and creepy and some of the scenes afterwards maybe seem kind of inappropriate for kids to be doing. But I don't see anything on him that is nearly as bad as some of these other actual predators in the industry. Okay, who's, did they mention the Amanda Bynes pregnancy yet? I heard about that from somebody on chat saying, like, TikTok is saying he got Amanda Bynes pregnant, but I don't this know if that's part of it. This might be the next episode. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, or it just might be TikTok, which is just full of no, insanity. She, she had posted about that, like during her Twitter days, mm-hmm. that one time where I sent her twenty bucks to get out of the bathroom of a bar. Right. But what? now we have. Oh yeah, I'll tell you about it later during the commercial break, Fritz. But Please do. in in that, like, there's a lot of stuff that, despite her mental breakdown. There's stuff that Amanda Bynes said that is being completely echoed in these documentaries mm-hmm. yeah. where everyone called her crazy. And now it's like, oh, there was some truth to it when we were calling you crazy. I liked, I saw somebody interview Amanda Bynes about how that one time she tweeted she wanted Drake to murder her vagina. Oh, it's the best interview ever. And, and she's like, no, I meant it. That's exactly <laughs> what I said. The person's like, well, yeah, but you were going through a breakdown and you didn't mean that, right? And she's like, no, I was no. going through a breakdown, but I did also mean that. <laughs> yeah, by murder, I mean I want him to take me to Pound Town and then bury me because of how much the pounding happened. Was she she's talking about really... Drake Bell or, or Rapper no, Drake? No, no, Drake, Rapper Drake. Drake. Rapper, Drake. Rapper Drake, yeah. Drake Bell was not in the equation here at all. Uh, Angel on YouTube says, 99% of the time it's male predators. Just so freaking weird that men have no control. Um, have you heard about the uh, the, the school system? Yeah, Paula yeah. Poundstone, too. <laughs> Outside of teachers, I would say that seems to hold up. Teachers, there are a lot of uh, teachers who are predators after uh, school children that seem to be women. Um, I don't know if those get more coverage, and that's not actually the demographic breakdown. I think they get more coverage because of their uh, natural access to children, seeing as their job. I mean, I, mm-hmm. I, I feel like there's just not a lot of news organizations uh, rushing to go to the local uh, phone answerer at your, your, your plumber that uh, is hooking up with their neighbor. I'm trying to look now. Uh, t- according to research, 63% of teachers and, and 19% of coaches and gym teachers are the perpetrators of sexual misconduct. 63% of teachers? Do they break Jeez. that down by, like, 
gender? Yeah, they said, they, they. I have to read into this more because those numbers don't make sense. No. It says 89.1% <laughs> of these like, That means like four of our teachers were yeah, perpetrators. Said, so we're like taking photos of yeah. Blowing our minds uh, a little bit here, man. How do we still oh. have F schools? <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Thank you. All right, hold on. It says about 10% of students will experience educator sexual misconduct by the time they graduate high school. So they're saying one in 10, which seems really wow. high. Verbal comments of a sexual nature are the most common form. So you could this is this could be stretched out to something like that was sure. a, a verbal thing, which Still I don't know if that's what people are thinking. Yeah, but I, I'm talking about contact sexual behaviors. I'd like to see the breakdown on that. Um, it says 786 allegations of this uh, defined as forced intercourse, or 0.001 percent of the student body. So that's a much smaller portion than what they were talking about above with the verbal thing. And most perpetrators were teachers, 19% were coaches, most were male, but again, that's a tie to like, this. they made this really broad, so it doesn't help out necessarily as much, I don't think. Anyways, in the schools, you see a lot of stories about the female perpetrators, but otherwise, I would say, there's a lot of truth to what you're saying. I don't, uh, you know, men are more violent, too. Men are just overall more violent. Look at the prison system. You know, there's, there's way more men in prison than there is females, and it's not because the justice system is biased against males. It's because men, because of testosterone and other things, uh, are more prone to be violent individuals. It's just the way that it goes. That's why uh, my, we... my urologist every appointment goes, you want to kill anybody yet? <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, are you still doing the tea? No, it's a different thing. <laughs> Your oh. neurologist asks you that? Well, urologist. U- urologist. <laughs> <laughs> both of them, though. They both do it. The neurologist right. should have reason, though. Yeah. <laughs> See, like, I never in a million years could imagine you killing somebody. Oh, no, I could. Mm. He's the first one. I would. I would. I would. Uh, I would pink. I would. I would pinpoint him killing someone because he's. I think quiet he'd hug someone too and hard. And he's nice. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I could see it either. I'm trying to picture him murdering somebody. He right would push now. someone into the path of an oncoming train, and you know oh, it. Wow. All right. If he was defending Jackson, he 100 percent would. Well, that's. I mean, that's allowed. God, have you seen that video of a woman who actually used her baby to defend herself? That's, that's a different. Yeah, that's, that's a whole a, nother level. Sure. Here. Grabbed the toddler by the legs and just swung it like it was a sack of potatoes at the person uh, who was punching her. That's a lot that's of trauma therapy coming up. Yeah. All right, quick break. When we come back, Good final dispatches. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Stories that didn't make the cut, and today learn to wrap everything up for a Wednesday. That's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real radio is real music weekends. Weekend on Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Hey there, Central Florida. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast. And for today, we do expect the potential of some scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout this afternoon. Some of these could be on the strong side with heavy rain and gusty winds. But overall, the majority of these will be staying to the north and west of the Orlando metro. Temperatures will still be on the warmer side, climbing into the mid-80s for highs. A cold front helps to spark more showers and storms by tomorrow. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by Direct Auto. Direct Auto Insurance is for uncompromisers. With a super low down payment, you can stop compromising and keep driving. Get a free quote at directauto.com. Down payments vary does not mean savings. How you buy can affect price. National General Group, Winston-Salem. For more information about contests on this station, go to realradio.fm slash rules. Hard Rock Bet presents Legal in Florida. You can bet the game on Hard Rock Bet. Get a no regret first bet up to one hundred dollars when you sign up now. Offered by the Seminole Tribe of Florida. Must be twenty one and over and physically present in Florida to wager. Terms and conditions apply. Concerned about gambling? Please call one eight eight eight. Admitted. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking. To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com 
I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. And we're Anajar and Levine. Experience the Anajar and Levine difference by calling us with any of your legal needs. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. Yo, it's Angel from the Monsters. You want a big green egg? For the lowest prices anywhere, you got to go to my friends, Wasi's Meat Market. They will deliver and set up your big green egg so that you are cooking before they leave. Follow Wasi's Meat Market on Instagram or go to wasi'smeatmarket.com for your big green egg today. Embark on a journey through the most absurd moments of the human story with Ridiculous History, the podcast that explores the bizarre corners of human existence, like the evolution of the toilet, the story of Comic Sans, or the exploits of the notorious Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr is like, one day, my life is going to be part of a musical. However, though, he probably didn't necessarily at this point think that he was going to be the villain. Listen to Ridiculous History on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, baseball fans, did you know that Fubo has the most MLB games you can get without cable? That's right. Only Fubo has the broadcast networks and regional networks you need to watch your home team all year long. Out of market? Don't worry. Fubo has MLB TV, too. Watch on all your devices at home and on the go. Baseball season is finally here. Get Fubo today. Start streaming FuboTV.com. That's F-U-B-O-TV.com. Mr. and Mrs. Flavor, thank you for joining us. Great to be here. I'm Barry. I'm the flavor of Barry. I'm Janet. I'm bitter. You wanted to talk about your son. He's the flavor menthol? Yes. He's the menthol in a menthol cigarette. He's such a disappointment. Out there getting people addicted. Being used by big tobacco to target black people. He could have been a lozenge. Menthol cigarettes are just as addictive as regular cigarettes and harder to quit. Find out how to quit today at TobaccoFreeFlorida.com. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. In this week's Marketer's Report, Dana Nussbaum, Executive Vice President, Worldwide Marketing at Warner Brothers Discovery, weighs in on regional audio marketing and the movies. Everything that we are doing is incredibly data-driven. We are getting signals in every single day about how specific audiences are performing. So although we're marketing at a very broad scale, and that does include specific local markets, that's really the beauty of iHeart's network. You're not serving the same message to a consumer in Nashville necessarily that you may be in New York. You have the ability to be very specific and very personalized, but at a tremendous scale. As the number one audio company, iHeartMedia gives marketers access to all, from national to local. Every audience, live conversations, trusted influencers, and the insights and data you need to grow. Not just a media company, iHeartMedia is your access company. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. Did you know your life insurance is an asset you can sell? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. For almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. And at AbacusPays.com, we've created a free policy value calculator so you can find out the worth of your policy in just seconds. There are no fees and no obligations. Get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Learn more at AbacusPays.com. This is trial attorney Jeff Kaufman from the injury law firm of Kaufman & Lind. Whenever you hear the words... This call is being recorded. Understand, this is not for your benefit. In my experience representing thousands of clients over 25 years, I have seen insurance companies use these recordings to deny responsibility and avoid paying medical expenses. Let your attorney do your talking for you. Contact us at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546. Office Orlando. Get to Twin Peaks for Wing Wednesday. Every Wednesday, we have six boneless wings, fries, and a soda for just $10. Prefer a signature draft beer? It's only $2 more. That's every Wednesday at Twin Peaks. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then, Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida.
forever at the crossroads between viral news and total chaos. that didn't make the cut. And today we're going to wrap everything up for a Wednesday. We're running behind. c -Lane, can you Google something for me real quick? Because yeah. No, he says. Oh, I got I'll bridge Google. on the brain. I got bridges on the brain. And I want to know, because Biden has said, President Biden, Biden has said, bridge. the federal government is going to pay for this bridge to be rebuilt in Baltimore that's been knocked down. Can Key we look up Buttigieg, I believe. Francis, Francis Scott Key Bridge cost. Like, How much does a bridge like that cost to begin with? Is a bridge like a hundred million dollars or uh like the original construction took five years and cost 306 316 million in today's dollars damn that doesn't uh, seem like that much for a full it's a bridge, big bridge. It's yeah. almost two miles yeah that seems pretty cheap yeah it was it was and a big bridge now we see the results <laughs> now we, oh, maybe we should have spent more money we should have put some barriers around this something Something could have been done to help us out a little bit. Interesting. Uh, all right. All the dispatches have made it for today. You can Congrats, check the rest of them. Congrats, dispatches. Uh, check those over at thenewsjunkie.com if you want to get into more. Actually, somebody said something about Phil Hendry. Let's see what they said. All right. Hello? What's up, News Junkie? Hey. I love y'all. Hope I get picked for Fritz on the Street one day. <gasps> Anyways, I used love to drive over the road someday. about 15 years ago before internet radio was mm -hmm. a thing and before I could uh, buy a Sirius XM radio oh. and uh, usually driving on the western side of the country in the middle of the night trying to stay awake. I ran also across good. people like Phil Hendry and Coast to Coast. Oh, yeah. Of those shows. <laughs> tried to listen to some of them after I got home. And no, thank you. Just don't hit the same when you're not trying to uh, die in the middle of a desert in the middle of the night. There's a vibe, right? He's not wrong about that. There's a vibe to those shows. Like, stay awake, we're driving, that kind of thing. We got a good um, vibe. Midnight Desert Radio. Hell yeah. I hope we have a good vibe. Yeah, we do, don't we? I'd we do. Say. I yeah. think it gets people through their work day. Yeah. Or their kids are screaming, but you have noise-canceling headphones. If they're trying to stay awake, listen to us. They got weird hours. Yeah. They've got weird hours. Okay. I gotta say, listening. each Tuesday when I do trivia, I, I always hear people say, you know, I don't know what I would do without you you guys, oh, meaning you guys and not pressure. me, just to no. clarify. They mean the three of you. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Likewise, they changed my life. They're talking about you, buddy. They're talking about you, too. Sweet. You're yeah, part of this yeah. whole thing. All right, here we go. Let's get out of the way. Let's do Today I Learned. The following information may make you feel smarter, but will not actually increase your IQ. So don't get cocky. Now it's time for what we call Today I Learned. It is Today I Learned for a Wednesday, March 27th, 2024. Love you, Fritz. Thank you. Appreciate you. And we'll you. see you Thanks, next Fritz. time, as always. Hell yeah. Uh, today I Learned this video game. Now plenty my trouble. Well, the Sims is correct. That's right. C Lane yeah. was so confused uh -huh. as to what was going on. Well, this is what? walking on sunshine in the Sims language. Okay. It's like a whole different thing. Yeah, I mean, you get the point. Uh, Will Wright created the game, the, the Sims, after losing his home during the Oklahoma firestorm in 1991. He wanted something where that he could put things yeah, back together, use that tragedy to help himself out. Today, learn this band right here. Red Hot Chili Peppers. That's right, back suck to it, Bridges. C -Lane, suck it. Anthony Kaitis, Kiedis, whatever, the lead singer of the Red Hot Chili Peppers, saved a baby's life whilst filming Carpool Karaoke one time. A hysterical woman approached the set screaming, my baby can't breathe. And Anthony calmly took the child and restored its breathing through CPR and resumed filming Carpool Karaoke. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We do appreciate it. We're back tomorrow, same time, same place. Miss any of the show? Get the podcast at thenewsjunkie.com. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Yeah.